Hello and welcome to Arbitrary 20 for chapter 13 of the Coming of the Dragon campaign. Uh, so for you guys, it has not been all that long since we've done an episode, but for us, it's been a few weeks. So we are going to do a, a little bit more than five word recap. We are going to do a six word recap. So... He cut down the percentage. I cut down the percentage. 20% from, increase, uh, that's fair, from, you know, from fair enough. what was suggested, which was seven. Um, so, yeah, so six word recap. Underground cave. Blue dragons. They mad. They do be mad. Yeah, so the the last, <laughs> last few sessions, uh, you guys uh, were exploring the ceiling altar where the god of magic Umanorin was uh, ultimately sealed away or destroyed and you were looking for some sort of artifact to that either contained the remainder of his power or maybe showed the way to it or something like that uh, at the bottom you guys found a diamond that was non-magical but beneath that you found a blue dragon layer you guys went there and ended up fighting with a, uh, a young dragon uh, who was just guarding his home. Uh, and you didn't kill him or his little brother, but you guys uh, were able to find, with their help, um, a book of some kind that had a bunch of strange runes all over it. Also, in this layer was like almost a laboratory with a bunch of runes in it that seems to glow. From there, you guys uh, went and caught up with, uh, you guys spent a day just kind of chilling mm -hmm. where some character stuff happened, I believe. Mm -hmm. uh, maybe, yeah. Yeah, maybe. Um, your character uh, regained his, his memory. <coughs> some of it. Yeah. Uh, Theo regained some of his memory, so mm -hmm. that was also fun. Uh, and then Telendrind arrived, you guys set off and uh, he arrived with some wizards, and you guys took basically a floating disc-powered mm -hmm. ride uh, back across the River Molen into the highlands of the continent. Um, and then uh, a few days later, you guys heard, as just as you were getting ready for bed, you heard a thundering on the horizon and saw two blue dragons coming from the east. Any questions or comments or whatever before you start? Mm -mm. You know, any like, last chance to figure out what the heck's going on. like halfway through the day, but I don't remember. No, it, it was, was raining. It was, uh, it was raining it was when you guys raining. were at the seal. When you guys yeah. left, it was raining, and then at about the five uh, mile mark, it yes, just stopped thought. raining. Yeah, that's what it was. And you guys went across the Mullen Riverbed. Uh, into the highlands, and it was a switch from hot the to cold. cold. Uh, so I don't think it's raining, I think it's just cold. Yeah. Um, and we were just hanging out. Yeah, and then uh, it would have been at night that or they came. Oh, and we were reunited with our, like, scorpion and... and mm -hmm. The yes, trees. Reunited Armageddon. with uh, Armageddon, Armageddon, the awakened existential scorpion. Who's now playing tag. <laughs> Where, yeah. <laughs> he played tag. <laughs> I don't remember. He, 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 learned, tag. he learned the concept of tag. Yes. <laughs> I'm so happy. Uh, and it, as well as um, Root, right? The mm -hmm. uh, awakened tree who is much less existential He's and is more just having a good time. Mm -hmm. And uh, and then, of course, you have Peapod who has really not done anything. My child. Yep. He, he hasn't done anything. You've just like stuck him in your pocket and basically have not mentioned him since. He's my child. Is he there alive? He's my child. Okay. Right. We'll see. We'll see. We'll see. We'll roll for it. He's just carrying around a dead child. Oh. 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 <laughs> <laughs> he's, he's he didn't say it's we off camera. Right? Yeah. yeah. So, let's get some battle esque. <laughs> It was more of a free battle. I was going to say, I was like, yeah, no, 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 no. but let's get some, let's get some higher, uh, higher uh, potential uh, battle. Potential, just, potential battle. They were just yelling at us. Let's yeah. get the potential energy. Up. My time is coming. <laughs> Please don't. Please don't. <laughs> is that okay? Um, sure. Don't uh -huh. you dare. Don't you dare. All right. So. You guys are getting kind of ready for bed at this point. It's pretty dark. The nights are much colder now. 
than they were in the wasteland. You see some some skiffs of snow, although the snow at this at this place is uh, a little bit more rare. And just as you're getting ready for bed, you see a silhouette blot out the moonlight. So we have landed. Yes. Okay. Yeah, because we saw. Well, the you've landed, and uh, I believe you've cast the island's retreat I spell. I can check if I have it used or not. But uh, I can't not remember. Yet. Okay, so you're we were getting in ready to. So yeah. That's kind of when when this is happening. You know getting ready to go to bed, but you haven't yet. Um, so luckily for you guys, you still have your armor on. Um, but so you see a silhouette, a block out the moonlight, casting a blue uh, kind of shimmer across the land around you. And you look up to see the silhouette of not one, but two gargantuan blue dragons. The one in front, seemingly, yells, Telendrand! As it comes down, causing the entire land around you to shake, as if the earth itself was responding to the dragon's presence. The other one lands much more softly behind it. And uh, Telendrand, who was in his human form at this point, kind of looks over at you, and says, let me handle this. I mean, this, this, is, this does seem to be your problem, so. Yeah, I mean, they did call for you by name. Thanks. I saw my rollers in, so I know. Yeah, your rollers <laughs> <laughs> Just mushrooms, those rollers. Uh, he will not, he won't turn into a dragon. He'll just kind of like stay in his, uh, in his human form, you know, so. Reflex. Kind of white dude, like oh, bushy white beard. And uh, he'll kind of look at them and kind of look up at this like towering freaking blue dragon. Yes. And just the other ones are just obviously not having it. Um, and let me pull up my notes. Okay. Yeah. I'm not going to pull up a loading screen because you can't be fast enough. Sorry, guys. The blue dragon is um, like, hang on. I gotta look at it. I gotta look at it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I just pose myself with yeah. it. He's weak. It just has like. So the, the first one. Cards. So tell her. Yes. <laughs> the, the one kind of looking. So, so one is kind of towering over you. You know, wings kind of more unfurled. The other one is standing much further back and is seeming to kind of let the other one take the lead, if that makes sense. And the first one, you notice that the voice is distinctly. Uh, higher pitched than Telendrin's or Taka's in dragon form. However, I'm not a voice actor. So I'm just going to do my best. <laughs> I know, not a voice actor. Uh -huh. I don't know where I would have gotten the idea that being a voice actor could help you in D&D. But, um... Attempted. So, uh, we'll say, your servants raided my home hurt my children and he's uh, and this dragon is going to kind of Me. stomp the ground next to to Telendrin <clears throat> and kind of cause like a small crater to form underneath its claw and stole my artifact the other one so now like you have Talendrin and you have this dragon who's just like leaning head straight down, definitely trying to intimidate. Smart enough. So we are going to roll an intimidation check for oh, the dragon. Shit. So everyone else roll a uh, counter intimidation check. Oh baby. We My time is gone. We'll see how this <laughs> goes. <laughs> Same. <laughs> Uh, oh, I'm not that hot on intimidation, yeah. actually. Uh, Wait, intimidation? Okay. Not bad. Prim and her rollers can't be intimidated okay, that easy. I'm going to spend the sorcery plant to re-roll that. Same. I'll be asking <laughs> Nice. Okay. Did you get 18, too? Damn it. He's not 18? No. no. Did you get 18? No. no. <laughs> He's got four. <laughs> I don't, I mean, give me a little more credit uh, than that, you know? Like, 
Six. Oh. <laughs> Hey man, that's a 50% increase. That's crazy. Yeah, no, no like stones. Like, All of those rolls were going to do the exact same thing. I forgot. I wasn't looking at the stat block when I did that. Okay. It's going to use its frightful presence. Everyone, all of those are actually wisdom saving throws. We're just going to oh, use the same oh, thing. Oh, even oh. better. So should I use the first roll and take that sorcery point back? Your call. Oh. Well, I can't that's re-roll worse. saving throws. Oh, just that's much worse for me too. Yeah. Yeah. Now would be a great thing. time to have resilient <laughs> wisdom. Saving throw, right? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, same as the second one. It, it's actually a four. <laughs> All right, bro. Four. Four. Twenty-three. Twenty-three. Seventeen. Seventeen. Thirteen. Thirteen. Fourteen. Okay. All of you, but wait, what did you get? Thirteen. Thirteen. Yeah, you failed. Twenty-three. Mm-hmm. You are uh, not frightened. <laughs> Everyone else is frightened. <sighs> F. Yes. F. It's the mushroom rollers are really mm-hmm. protecting the wizard. So, it's telendron frame. It only lasts for a minute. Unless so it's telendron has to make it. Um, he does. He might be immune. But I have a sneaky suspicion it's not going to really affect him all that much. You pull up his. Uh... Yeah, no, he doesn't give a shit. Oh. <laughs> Love it. Yeah, so as as this dragon leans over, it seems to grow, and you see the lines in its face seem to deepen, its eyes seem to glow a malicious shade of red, as all of you become slightly more afraid of it. Yep, all of you, except you. <laughs> you, are, you see this happening and go, I don't give a shit. <laughs> I feel like Prim's more like, well, first of all, we're not his servants. Second of all, Injured is a little over exaggeration. Maimed. You came, in, so now this big giant <laughs> she <did>. head <laughs> swings toward you. Um, and so now you have the blue dragon uh, speaking directly to oh, you. We love that. And uh, make a quick persuasion check, or uh, persuasion perception check for me. Healing is frightened though. <laughs> is that? Um, Twenty-two. Seventeen. Seventeen. Love a good. You nice. can see, so you don't, so you kind of see the red whatever eyes, and after a minute it kind of goes away. But you notice that within the eyes, like when you look into this, do you know? I mean, each eye, giant, like, you know, yeah. giant, right? You can see electricity seeming to like go yeah. behind the eyes, Love and you that. can actually see uh, small arcs of electricity all over its entire body. Almost like all the scales rubbing yeah, against each other is causing, um, so yeah, cool. arc flashes. Um, so, yeah, you attacked both of my children unprovoked. Mm. Well, that's inaccurate. You are lucky I do not kill you now. I will say. We were actually trying to leave that layer as fast as we could, but then one of our members is not so the gonna, smartest. You're gonna notice Telendren, who's just like, like, just like, oh no. <laughs> <laughs> I think it was a whole misunderstanding at first, and we were trying to get out, and then we saw some people in trouble, but then they started attacking. You stole me. my artifact. I didn't steal. You convinced it. my kids to help you after beating them to a pulp. To a pulp. You stole hmm. my research in runic research? magic. Copy I thought I copied it, yeah. I think we just copied that. Mm. We didn't steal that one. Now that one I know. <laughs> so, <laughs> For sure. So to be fair. First statement stand. But, but wait, sorry, above table. Like I thought. <laughs> I we, thought we just copied it, yeah. Yeah, yeah, we, just yeah we did just copy it. They could know, still I, consider I that remember. stealing, but. Yeah, yeah. yeah but also I, I can't remember if we had enough time to copy it. You had some copy. You, you had okay. some. some. You, you had some copy. Okay. But, yeah. And hmm. to be fair, your, your children did give us this artifact willingly. They did. <laughs> Actually, Under duress. Tell it. She's going to turn right on. <laughs> so, t- <laughs> Telendrins, if they were not under your protection, I would have killed them already. Oh. But, what do you have to say for their actions, seeing as how you are their liege? Telendrins going to like look at you and just, like all of you and just say, just, we don't want to fight. 
There's no afterlife for dragons, and I'd prefer not to kill them. Oh. Uh, uh. Turn back. That's so horrifying. Say, <laughs> my lady, we humbly apologize, but we are on a mission for a higher purpose. I believe you know of the mission I speak of. And the blue dragon, my lady to Salomon, will kind of cock her head and say, I will succeed in my mission, Telendrind, and you won't always be here to ensure this one. Do not stop me in mine. And uh, he will just kind of like look up and say, I have bigger things to worry about than you. And uh, this is going to be the first time that you see a dragon smirk in dragon form. Uh, but this was right. And you will. Uh, so I don't know. I don't know what. I don't even know what that would look like. <laughs> it's just, it's just like, this is a smirk. Like, like, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, and she will say, "You have a choice now, Telendrind. Release them to me. Give my artifact back, or this ends here." So he is going to kind of turn to you, and uh, for the first time is actually going to ask your opinion of something. Oh Jesus, you know it's serious. I can hold my own against one, Mm. not two. I'd prefer to avoid a fight today. But I believe your options are clear. But we cannot give them the book. Are we like team huddling in front of them? (laughs) Okay, (laughs) so they can still hear us. I mean, see, there is not much of a choice then. Not with me. What does that mean? We could take the other one. So, you're real with you. Yeah. <laughs> Ooh. The reason that this choice is coming up is because y'all have been, been like, Tildren seems all weird and shit. Tildren does seem so. So, there you go. Your options are, I mean, you have many, and I'm sure that you have more than the ones on the list, but at this point, you can try and fight two adult blue dragons. We've done it before. We've done one before. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> yeah. What what is their mission? Did we ever find that out from the research? We, 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 time we just know they were studying, studying, studying the something. same thing we studied. Studying right? the runes, and I will say, like these runes that you've seen, like you've only seen them in yeah. one place. We were assuming they were studying those and the books since they yes, added. Ex- yeah, exactly. The the runes themselves are di- are very similar. The runes that you found in the temple and yeah. the runes that you found in the book yeah. are the, the, yeah. very, very similar. When you guys have more time, I can go into the actual differences and similarities. But um, So they're proposing you to hand them, we're going to hand it over to them. Yeah, so basically what they are proposing is you serve them for a bit. Or a bit being however long. And they won't attack you. Or... You give them the book back, which Telendrin doesn't want. Telendrin also doesn't want you guys to help them. What about the mission? Is? Why don't we just help them for a little bit? I mean, we could get these hear me out. We could do that. And then we figure out what they're doing. And that's interesting. Are you guys trying to be stealthy or are you okay with them hearing this? I'm okay with them hearing this. Yeah, <laughs> So the, uh, not what, what did you say? Well, I'm sorry. Oh, we, we could help them for a while and figure out what they're doing. Because so, we, we don't know what they're doing. Oh. You know? So Probably she's going to kind of, you know, go swing her 
ginormous head back on over to Telendrin and then we'll kind of say, a choice then. And you'll hear kind of this like rumbling from the dragon's chest that you realize is like laughter. Oh, and it Jesus. sounds like rocks crushing against each other. We love Just that. like, yeah. Fine then. And she'll, it's like a crane. Whoops. Like a crane. I know my, my hands are getting in the way. Anyway. Uh, uh, crane just like swinging its head over to you. Um, and we'll say, unlike Telendrind, our task is simply knowledge. We do not meddle in the affairs of lesser species of this planet. I'd like to insight check. Okay. <laughs> it's a nat 20. Wow. <laughs> Not lying. Nice. Sick. <laughs> and Telendrin is going to pipe up at this point and kind of say, you don't serve a dragon for a while. What does that mean? I mean, can't we just give them knowledge by keeping the book and doing our mission? Hmm. We could share the knowledge between all of us. We could give them some sending stones and send all the information back. And do their work for them. Um, I think. I'm sorry. Are you saying this? Who are you saying this to? To Talendrin? Yeah. To Talendrin? In her, I guess. Yeah. So Five she'll kind of like. Would this be acceptable? And we'll look up at the blue dragon. <clears throat> Make a persuasion check. Is it good or bad? I can't see that far. Okay. We got more of a glasses. 29. Oh. 29? Shoot. I've always hard. It's the same time. It's <laughs> pretty good. Just by one. Oh. 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 This, so you're going to hear her kind of say, That's rough. This is not acceptable. I do not want my artifact finding its way to some <sighs> microorganisms of exploring a power they have never seen before and will never understand. It is greater than them. Well, why don't you tell us the information inside of it and we'll go investigate for you. <laughs> You're going to hear more rumbling. <laughs> <laughs> I don't care what you roll, that's fine. <laughs> <laughs> she won't agree to that. <coughs> okay, that's fair. <clears throat> what if we gave you something of equal value? Well, not necessarily equal value, but something to hold on to as collateral. What <laughs> could possibly <laughs> be enough? We have Are a we pretty scary sword. No, I was going to be Raluna. <laughs> what? I didn't know. Familiar that, that you can call back to you? It's not Raluna. It's technically oh. not familiar. Technically, she goes into her own pocket dimension and is like an ethereal <laughs> cat. Hmm? I guess it's actually still just she. Yeah, it's in view. Are you really no. offering the sword? I put it on the table. <laughs> it's not up to me, though. What sword is this? A pointy one? <laughs> we found it. It would be more for us to hold on, you hold on to while we figure out some information and then we trade it back. But it's a sword that has special powers, obviously. What sword is this? It uh, doesn't, doesn't like magic. It can't counteract. Should we show them a demonstration? No. Okay. Uh, I thought that would be cool. It would take me an hour to show them a demonstration. Oh, JK, JK. Because I'm not attuned to it currently. <laughs> wait, no, wait. <laughs> no, I swapped it out for the thing he got me for the oh, secret yeah. Santa. <laughs> oh, we have those. Yeah, you guys have your secret Santa items. That was a while ago did, for us. Did you guess not? That's your. <laughs> well, you I guess, time I guess not all of them were attuned to attunement. Yeah, yeah. Show me this sword. I mean, I'm not necessarily the primary decision maker of the group, so 
It is up to um, a group vote, I would say. I'm fine with it. Unless she wants Luna. I don't, I don't think Luna. she wants Luna. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, look at it. No. Oh. Do you not like cats? I eat cats. Oh. It's a pretty metal. It's up, to you, it's up to you guys what we want to do. I think it's fine. Should we consider Delindrin's opinion on this? He's asking nah. for our opinion. <laughs> Maybe. <clears throat> what do you think? What, Telendrin? That sword. I do not know whether she will accept it. Well? But... I'm not so sure that I want her to have whatever knowledge we do uncover. Can I can her say? interests directly collide with ours. Why don't we just put it all in hand, like all cards on the table. Do you want an inside check? Can I inside check the um the the woman dragon that um wants the sword? She like if she, she would she, accept it or not? She, or, I don't know. Like I don't know you're she has not said whether she would accept it. I know, but can I like she tell see it. like can I like insight in terms of like just see her body? She like she's seen she's seen the sword, right? No. No, okay. Yeah, I'm sorry. You haven't I'm shown in, her the sword okay, yet. I'm ahead of myself. I guess then. they've seen it, but we haven't pointed it out. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. So they know of it or not? Because it's just you, see, it's you guys just, have talked you about the sword. Talk it's just like, what my side. sword? We and you guys are like Oh. Yeah, we haven't said what sword it is. Yeah. I I mean it would just be a temporary switch while she gains knowledge on the sword and we gain knowledge on the book. Is she trying to work for Uminorin? I do not believe that she is working for him. But her mission that she has appointed herself does not allow for the destruction of what remains, whatever it is. Do you see if that could be a future alliance? Do you think if that could be a future alliance? I believe that she is being honest in her offer to have you as her servants. But otherwise, I do not know that her mission would allow her to align herself with me. Do you know what might be asked of us as her servants? No. What do you guys feel about swapping the sword for the book temporarily? Yeah, but before am, we propose it, we should see if we want the, to do it. I am of the opinion we end this now, but if the majority <laughs> vote is against that, then that, that is all right. I think there's more knowledge to be gained from them. Um, yeah. Possibly. I mean, she might not take this word, so the you question, might as well see. The question is if it's worth the trouble. As you guys are talking, you're going to hear so her good. kind of say, She's looking over us. I am growing tired of this. Well, just over the sword. You, I have given you your options. So Give me the book. Become my servant. So we have this. Those are the only sword. acceptable traits. We have a sword. <laughs> it is um Show used to here. potentially stop Uminorin. Do you want to trade information on it? We what will let you study it while we study the, the sword. book. Okay. You will unsheath it and pull it up. So Roken will hold the blade side, so yeah. it's not yeah, da- yeah, not in a so dangerous way. She's, yeah. So as a dragon, <laughs> yeah. you're gonna see her take this massive front claw, yikes, <laughs> and snap her claws together with like this like cocoon sound, as seemingly from nowhere, a pair of dragon-sized jeweler spectacles, oh my god, <laughs> appear, but like. Like you know how that's like yeah, the spectacles like, yeah, and like the little cool, one. Yeah. It's like, like it's like. It's going all the way down. 
like you know the spy kids meme yeah, yeah, where it's like yeah, yeah. it's like yeah. that. <laughs> <laughs> like, we'll clarify. I'm letting her look at it. I'm not gonna let her. I know. Okay, yeah. I'm holding on to it. Yeah, you're you're holding on yeah. to it, and she's kind of taking a look, and you're gonna see her this massive just like, and you know like this head is like as big as Rogan. Yeah. Like, <laughs> like if you sat on her head, it would like she'd be fine. Yeah. Would not care. Um kind of takes a, a close look at it and says Mm-mm. where did you find this? Mm. It was in a castle. Mm. A cat magic castle. Did we ever get the name of that city? I don't think we ever did. Okay, yeah. I don't think so. I don't think it, I, I've always just called it the city of the Notaku because yeah. that's basically what it is. Yeah. That's always what I think that's what it is in my notes. That's what it is on the. Well, did, did we get the gist of that being? Or did our characters get the gist of that being there? Or the name? Get that? I don't yeah. Know. The name of the city was just straight up Notaku. Notaku. Oh, yeah. that's right. It was just named queen. after the people. That's yeah. right. It was yeah, just yeah, Notaku. Yeah. 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 You guys talked to the queen yeah. a bit, so the, I figured the city that, of uh, the Notaku. Just kind of appeared. Just got the city just appeared. We oh, saw the oh, city. I thought, I thought you meant the sword. I'm like, this there's no way sorry, we looked that. for it. <laughs> she's gonna look back at Telendrin, just like like her head's just gonna like back at Telendrin. New deal. Oh, yeah. we like the new deal. Oh. Maybe not. I want the book. I also want the sword. Oh, there is much research to be had, much knowledge to be gained. Uh, uh, no. yeah. What if? Um... Real can reuse the blade. She's gonna look <laughs> at, at you, you guys, and say, "What has he promised you? What has he promised us? Nothing. Hmm. What can you offer us?" <laughs> Knowledge and power that you've never seen before. You want knowledge of that sword? You want power just like it for each of you. I know how to find it. If you want gold, I have that in spades. If you want jewels, magical artifacts. Magical artifacts, there you go. (laughs) Artifacts. I have them as well. (laughs) And my research, my plan, does not involve destroying all of it in some half-hearted, half-hearted attempt to appease my father. Who's the father? Hmm. Telendrin is now going to look visibly angry at that. Who's your father? A simplification. Well. And not a uh, flattering one. Oh. Okay, well, yeah, I mean, there's just so so many decisions to make. I'm gonna uh, cast message to tell him then. Okay. Oh, I'm gonna say, I'm ready to kill these dragons. <laughs> None of us know that. <laughs> he gets a response, right? Yes, he gets a response. Is it like 25 words or less? Right? It's just a oh, short okay. message, oh. is all it says. It's less specific with message. Yeah. He's gonna respond with. Does anyone know the truth? <laughs> Does that, doesn't that take like a minute? Yeah. Kind of the same, like some, some similar to what he said before. Like, I'd like to, I'd like to avoid killing them if we can. Oh, that's just, oh, that's, that's, ju- that's just to you. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Well. Uh, well, like. Yeah, like, I'd like to avoid killing them if we can. That's all he's going to say. You, do you get, like, impressions over message? I don't think so. I think it's just words, right? I'm sure there's well, intonation. Yeah, the yeah, the way he says it is still there. Yeah. yeah. You're, you're getting the... I mean, you can roll intuition if you want, but... And all... I mean, he's just, like... He kind of knows the intent. Like, he knows that you're, like, okay, not with them, but... And he's not saying, no, you should go with them. He's just, like, let's avoid killing them. If we can but that was completely private. Mm-hmm. Your characters do not know this. Oh. 
<laughs> so like, I'm gonna drop what? that and then sit back. Yes. I was just gonna smirk. What? And <laughs> so, like, <laughs> so like, what exactly are you researching? So you're researching knowledge, but like about what? Yes, we'd like to know this, and we'll need a much better deal to consider your option. Roll a persuasion check to see if she uh, tells you. Because I haven't decided, so I'm just going to set a DC. Yeah, well, yeah, since I spoke, can I? Okay, I don't think you need the help. You didn't. But... You didn't. It was, it was like 17, you know, where it's like like a little bit like higher, but like, you know, if you just like fucking flubbed it, then she wouldn't care. The mushrooms have been growing on her. Mm-hmm. Those runes that you see on the book mm. and that you saw in the temple are unlike of anything I've ever seen. They house their own magic. Mm-hmm. Something that should be impossible. The thing, the artifacts that you see do not house their own. They take it from the world around them and house it within themselves. A sort of transaction. Mm-hmm. These house their own. I'm gonna stop it there. But you get the sense that she will tell you more if you join with her. Interesting. Hmm. Interesting. And how do we know that she will not just kill us after we hand over if if we were to hand over our items? So at this point she looks affronted. Oh shit, you offended the dragon. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> Make a persuasion check to see by how much. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> Big eggs. Uh, that's not good. Let's see, persuasion you said? Mm-hmm. So I'll say something after she's Fifteen. Okay. Yeah, so she's affronted. <laughs> um, I am intrigued, but what says we can I, for this? <laughs> were you to become my servant? A bond would be created between us. I don't like that. And I do not cast aside my servants so lightly. Oh shit, that's a T. There was some sort of like shade thrown. Oh yeah, the shade thrown. Somewhere. Not quite sure where, but somewhere. (laughs) What says we need you to pursue this? (coughs) Can you read the runes? I'm sure we could figure it out. Oh, You're gonna hear the, the, the rocks crumbling again. The gravel. So what's your intent once you figure out all this knowledge? Persuasion check. Mm-hmm. <sighs> oh, that was literally off the fucking... It's fine. It's like a seven. It was like off of it. Unlike your friend here, my goals do not involve people of any one planet. Mine involve improving every planet. Through the means of magic? Insight. (laughs) (laughs) Only 12. (laughs) We be trying. She she seems not to be lying. Okay. Yeah. yeah. So. Hmm. How long have y'all known each other? You're gonna hear, like, so Telendrin is just gonna laugh. No. Yeah. <laughs> okay, you're gonna hear the rocks grumbling, you know, r- rumbling together. Um, too long. Hmm. Well, there's a lot of history here. It sounds like. So how do we come together and make a compromise? <laughs> well, actually, what is like the age range of dragons? Yeah, in this is I think Roken would know because it was his favorite anime thing. But... Roll a history okay. check. Do pretty have, high DC. Can I have advantage for this, because of that ability? You can have advantage, but still pretty high DC. Okay. The fact that I'm even letting you make the check is because of your ability. Is that cocked? Yeah. Okay. Mm. 
History? Mm -hmm. Yeah, funny joke, eight. <laughs> no. No, you have no okay. idea. Old. Yeah, very old. Very old. Yeah. Uh, a lot longer than Tortles. And Tortles have, I think, I said like 300. No, Something, like Something like that, I think. Something like that. Oh. Yeah. And you would even surmise much longer than elves. Oh, wow. Okay. Yeah. Now, in, in mine, to keep it simple, it's 1 to 10 for humans to elves. So. Oh, so 100 So, like, like a thousand year old yeah. elf is like an old ass elf. Okay, yeah. Because, you know, the reality is, is we're not going to give you the sword and the book. And. We'd rather not be slaves, obviously. So how you do we come together? You would not be slaves. Well, that's the jargon that we're using right now. So, <laughs> a bond. Slaves do not get paid, um, and they do not enter of their own free will. Interesting. Well, either way, how do we come together here and make a compromise for the better good of knowledge? She still has rollers in her hair that are just mushrooms trying to have this conversation. You're going to hear the, the grumbling again. Telendrin's just going to be like, oh, jeez. Uh, well, he's not helping. I don't um, see him trying. No, because he doesn't want to compromise. No. Um, Sometimes you gotta do what you got to do. He's, uh, he's going to kind of look at you and kind of, what do you suggest then? Hmm. Well, oh gosh, <laughs> what does she suggest? That, yeah, that was the, yeah, I'm like, what are your ideas, G? Mm, what if we were freelance between the two? Freelance. Mm -hmm. Like mercenaries, but not as violent, I suppose. Gathering information for the two of you. And what you do with it is your own choice. Think of us as a neutral party. Throw persuasion. Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> so, <laughs> Wait, can I guide it to myself? No, I can't. <laughs> I mean, they would know. <laughs> uh, okay. We'd be okay. 18. It was okay. I was, my hands were pretty sweaty. Uh, better than previous ones. Yeah, it's yeah. going up. <laughs> I tried. I tried. Uh, tell him Brenda is going to say mm, her actions, her goals, they directly go against the way of dragon kind. She seeks to research magic. Okay. What she plans to do with it would um, cause more destructive harm than you could ever possibly imagine. What are the philosophies of this way of the dragon kind? Full persuasion to see if it's okay. okay. I think this is my first persuasion check. I, I rolled two dice for this because of my dragon mark. Oh, that's really good. 28. 28. Oh, shit. Sorry. Yeah. There are different orders of us. Three orders of us, in fact. I am a gold dragon. You have met a brass dragon. We are metallic. We serve a higher power to protect. Our goal is to keep the universe safe, or at least the small part of it that we can. <sighs> Chromatic dragons, such as the blue one here, and the purple dragon you felled a few months ago, they serve their own ends a different higher power that seeks not to protect but to allow chaos to reign the third you have not met 
They are the crystalline dragons. They serve their own ends. And I do not believe there are any on this planet. Does the blue dragon, does the blue right. dragon hear this? He doesn't say anything, but Roken seems very intrigued by the crystalline dragons. <laughs> um, is that what they're called? German dragons. Is it German I, dragons? Crystalline. Crystalline, I think, sounds Kind of sick, I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> I couldn't remember, and I, I didn't bring fizz bands with me today, so yeah. I was like, gem I dra- can't Gem dragons. Yeah, crystalline sounds so Go, so go for it. Yeah, yeah, come on, wizards. <laughs> Call them crystalline. Um... Was there another question? Oh, yeah. what does the blue dragon say? Are you going to take that shade like that? Oh, dang. She, yeah, she's going to be somewhat offended. Do you have any information to add to this gesturing to the blue dragon? Talendrand, you oversimplify. You seek not protection, but you seek control. I seek not chaos. I just prefer to let those who are evil do what they want. Let those who are good do what they want. <laughs> They're all sus, man. They're all sus. I don't know. <laughs> he did oversimplify it, though. <laughs> to his own, you know. To his own, yeah, yeah. <laughs> to be fair. Oh. That's informative. I, I'm sure the full details would take much longer. But. I, uh, the Talendrin's gonna, like, kind of, like, glare at the blue dragon. But I just realized hasn't introduced herself. That's kind of funny. Um, we haven't asked either. You, no it's asked. classic fashion. Yeah, um, the classic never I prep asked. a name, no one asks. Never, <laughs> no, no I don't prep a name, everyone fucking asks. Yeah, yeah. Uh, <laughs> I have to come up with it on the spot. That's Facts. very easy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I got prepped a name, God. Yeah. No one wants to know it. <laughs> I'm kidding. It doesn't matter. Uh, for this, at least. Um... Talendrin will will say, kind of, also a simplification of things. I'm sorry, I don't think we got your name. (laughs) 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 We've been talking about death and slavery and indentured servitude and history (laughs) to just someone we don't know. Uh (laughs) My name is Tarbeck. Such, so much cooler of a name. I like that. <laughs> oh, is that not cool enough for you, Caitlin? It's, no, it's, it's, it's a cool name. Enough. It's a cooler name. Because we got Taco, we got Tony, and we got. No, actually. Oh, okay. <laughs> we just we just met all the. Teams. Keep in mind, there's another blue dragon who's just not interfering with any of this. What is your uh, friend's name back there? My husband's name is Dartel. Oh. <laughs> We're just <kidding. laughs> trying to see the marital status over there. <laughs> <laughs> Hmm. Well, this has all been very interesting. Well, guys. It was so hard to show. Well. I don't know how I feel about our negotiation skills after this one, so. Okay, well, you know. There's always plan A, you know. I. There's so, always plan Z. Yes, even with the. Tarbeck will look at you guys and I say. I am still of the same opinion. Oh, I checked the plans. It is really all. It is obvious. Plans. You need more time. To I think, think so. Mm-hmm. You have till morning. And she, with a, so she will, uh, kind of. You know, you see her wings extend and blot out half of the night sky, and with a huge <laughs> down thrust, she. Rockets into the air. Everyone make a strength saving throw. <laughs> oh. Damn. What is strength? Eight. You said saving throw? Mm-hmm. I assume we're just oh. not prone, but. Yeah. 
straight roll. <laughs> 16 straight roll. 19 straight roll. 19. Both. Two. <laughs> I'm crushed. You two, boys. fine. Ha. Telendrins doesn't even fucking flinch, man. <laughs> I, I hope he wouldn't have that. I don't even that. think his hair moves. Oh, shit. I, th- I always you three, bald. boom, straight prone. My knees. <laughs> Onto your back. <coughs> My back. My back. My back. <laughs> well, you need to do some more like leg workouts. Why haven't we uh, killed him yet? Uh... He said he didn't want to kill him. Well, and I'd rather not fight a dragon that has so much was, knowledge. It was their choice to follow us. They knew what they might be getting into. Yes. I don't so think that's a compromise. Kind of look at you guys, because he's still there. Kind of I don't think that's a compromise we can make. Yeah. Unfortunately, in this matter, my rules are clear. You must make your choice. There's an uneasy alliance between the different dragon types. And when it comes to servants or allies, we are not allowed to interfere. Once you have started your deliberation like this, I will let you recess. And he will just kind of walk away. (laughs) I'm gonna take 10 minutes, we're gonna cast a telepathic bond. (laughs) Okay. We haven't asked Teladrin about what he's doing, right? Other than trying to get just all the Umanoran artifacts out. But so, what Teladrin is said, Teladrin is giving you more information now than he, I think he's ever. I given. think so, yeah. And basically, his goal, as stated, is to kill Umanoran once and for all. Interesting. The god of magic. The god of magic. Who knows what effect that'll have on the world? Could, yeah, it could literally mean no more magic, potentially, or not. Who knows? Last time when he was sealed away, and this is just a, a world check, you guys yeah. know this. I'm, I'm trying to give you as much information as you can from a DM perspective. Um, you guys would know that, you know, when Uminorin came back, so did a lot. Like, when he, when he was sealed away, a lot of stuff went with him. Right. No one knows why. And a lot of stuff came back when this when uh, the initial awakening happened. Magic didn't just awaken, a lot of other things did too. So killing Uminoran might have an effect on those. I feel like there's a logical kind of step to take there. Yeah. Might have an effect on magic, it might have an effect on monsters. By killing Uminoran, you might kill all, you know, monster. everything in the monster mania. There's peasants, right? Hmm? Has it's in there. <laughs> 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 it's dead. But you get what I mean. Yeah. That's an official arbitrary twenty stance of peasants. <laughs> yeah. Fuck. <laughs> Fuck the serfs. <laughs> Expendable. <laughs> okay. Oh. Ah. Alright, so you guys are now speaking telepathically. So oh, sweet. So the, the group of wizards that was with you. Mm-hmm had nothing to contribute to that entire thing, obviously. They're just... They... Just set up camp for something. Actually, you know what? Make... I'll let you pick. Make a perception or arcana check. Arcana. Mm, Okay. I have nat 20. Mm. On what? Perception. For a 28. Hmm? 19 Arcana. Okay. Also 19 Arcana. 19 Arcana. Uh, 28 Perception. Mm-hmm. 10 Arcana. 10 Arcana. Mm-hmm. Or 8 Perception. 13 <laughs> on Arcana. So the only one who notices anything. <laughs> uh, you, you notice that there seems to be some sort of magical bond between Telendrind and the wizards. You hmm. notice the same thing, but you just notice that they follow him unfortunately. Mm. And you've noticed this over the last few days, I'll say. 
Well, he already has servants, so there's that. Oh, okay. We do know they're from the wizard core. Core. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay. They seem to be. You you don't know anything. I mean, they they look it. They sound like it. They talk like they talk normally. You know, it's not like they're like, oh, but they obviously follow him, and they seem to have some sort of magical link with him. Yeah. Okay. Are you saying that they are under his control? Hmm. Not necessarily. Yeah. They just, they have a connection to him. Like, they're all connected to him. They might have to each other. bond that, yeah. uh, I forget her name, oh my god, <laughs> that she spoke of. Tarvek? Tarvek. I don't have my notes, I'm sorry. Tarvek and uh, Dartel, I believe. Mm-hmm. Let me double check. Also, yeah, Dartel. I mean, it is possible yeah. that's also some sort of controlling bond. Yeah. Okay. Unfortunately. So, what if we get the two dragons to fight each other and then we kill them both? Oh, no way. I don't think we can take Teledrin. But what if I... he's getting attacked by two dragons at the same time? Shit. Uh-huh. What no, I see those, what you're saying. But what I, if those wizards start to attack us as well? They probably that's, will. That is true. That just be one good I think, it, and... <laughs> I think it may be worth siding with at least one for now. And I'm like leaning to. towards telling That's fair. I don't... But I'm, I'm not going to lie to someone like that idea. <laughs> <laughs> I, just, I don't think it's. I don't think it's possible right now. That is fair. I'm we just, put side bets on who wins. <laughs> I'm just saying, um, if he has wizards under his control, bright green, somewhat clear dragon. <laughs> 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 Let's go. A third party. I. I do. It's like I'm here to mediate this discussion. <laughs> Can you imagine the new gods in anyway? So I did talk to Telendrin when you guys were deciding what you wanted to do. He said he doesn't really want to kill them. Uh-huh. But I don't really want to give them anything. I, I don't see a world where there is a compromise made here. I what tried. if we get them dangerously low? They might want to leave. No, I think they'll just come back even stronger. Yes, then they will just return. Okay, I mean, well, what if we cut off a wing? They can't leave them, right? We <laughs> have to get on them first. Have you been die. stealing my mushrooms? I'm just a little pissed off. It's okay. oh. <laughs> Still killing them. It's just a lot more painful for them. No, no, no. You cut off the wing. By the way, you look over and Armageddon has dug himself a hole. Oh, how And cute. is like over it. And is like inside of it. You Not cut off right a wing idea. and then you fireball the wound and it just instantly cut her. Um... If you get them to that point, the fire will may just kill them, but mm, sure. I mean, let's really think about this for a second. <coughs> Telendrin wants to get rid of Umanor and stuff, which in theory sounds really good, mm-hmm. but we don't know what happens to magic if all that happens. And? I like my magic. We just went through a 50-year war for magic. Uh-huh. I don't think that was worth it. Well, whether it's worth keeping can be debated. Our magic does oh, a lot of good for debated. people. Millions. Oh, we won't put a number in the world, but tons of people died. Because <laughs> <laughs> I do not know. Millions. <laughs> Millions. I would say it's a, a good estimate. Yeah. yeah. People died. Yes. To have the magic that we have. Not to mention when magic first started, you guys would have been there, you would have known. Yeah. People accidentally discovering they had magic was a little bit like uh, X-Men discovering their powers yeah. and accidentally killing people. Yeah. Imagine, accidental fireball yeah. when yeah. you're trying to have dinner. Well, I'm gonna send you something. I don't to say like, that loud. Do like a... Okay. So I don't think that's worth it, in my opinion. You don't really have great magic, so... Never Discord text. Discord. Ah. <laughs> you can cut from the bottom. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not enough that I like. <laughs> <laughs> I don't care, I'll cast it again and you're no longer part of it. <laughs> you're joking. You would. I'm recasting telepathic bond without the premium side of it. <laughs> yeah, block from the group chat, yeah, guys. Just got oh my god. So everyone but the unimportant person. <laughs> <laughs> what would you think? 
We do have the capabilities of surprising them. Potentially. Well, the goo shot is so quiet without me in it. It's a tough decision. You don't know that. It's a tough decision indeed. Um, well, being that we have three options, really, effectively. We do have a fourth. We send Prim in there. <laughs> as the servant. She was thinking this, just so you're aware. <laughs> just, I'll just put it on the table, but let's okay. go over the first three. Right, you're, yeah. you're thinking that. <laughs> I mean, it could work. It could. If, if we want to do that. Maybe. <laughs> She's not here to know, so it'd be kind of funny. <laughs> but what, but what, I think this is really unfair that you take me out of this group chat. What if she dies? No, that would be pretty unfortunate. I don't, want, I, don't want, I don't want to lose my sister again. But she she did kind of insult me, so I'm, I'm a little mad right now. Did uh, well, she also bring back your memories? Yeah, that was unwilling, you know, so I don't know how I feel about that. <laughs> well, being in a, a sibling <laughs> ship is like that. You know, sometimes you... You're implying stuff I do not like. <laughs> I'm just saying that... There's no sheep. There's no boat. There's no wood. Fine, being siblings then. There we go. Okay. Whatever your choice of words mm -hmm. would be, mm -hmm. rather. That's how it is sometimes, though. You, know, you get upset at each other, but uh, it may not be wise to send them in and, and just kill them. Checking the wording. Yeah, you're good. It's an interesting point, though, right? That's fair. That's fair. I don't know. So, not a I don't know, we'll, we'll keep it on the table, but you okay. know, keep that in mind. Um, so, no. That, that's the only reason why not. Either okay. way, we have the only three options, the way I see it. And, um... I'd say, you know what? Make an Arcana check. I'll, you may certainly... To my first question, or to... Make an Arcana check to do your last question. To, okay. to try. Being that one of those options really may can't happen. It's a pretty high DC. May I guide myself on that one? Okay. Being the um, the book and sword going away, mm -hmm. that that's just a no go. I'll um, spend the sorcery point. And I'm personally not a fan of the the servitude thing. That that just sounds like actually hell on earth. I think we just got rid of our servitude with the army, you know. So like, I don't want to do that again. Uh, that was not nice. I've been in enough servitude in my life and. Servitude still. Right, let me uh, roll a d20. So just roll a d20. Roll a d20. If it's a one, uh, I think it's. I mean, I'm not really a fighter. <laughs> okay. We're to talk, but you know, I think that talking Famous is kind of will fail me now. That's fair. It's not a one. It's a three. Yeah. All right. <laughs> Explain where you're going. I'm just saying. I mean, huh? the ultimate chaos here is uh, destroying both. Well, so you said it was for my last question. Well. uh... Or for my... That allows you to, you can cast the spell. And it will work because you rolled correctly. You rolled high enough on your arcana, and you didn't roll a one, so it will go through. Oh my god. Well, this is the tea, what is it? Well, John wants to well, try they, something. Well, they don't necessarily have to hear the... They don't. I'm letting you, you can choose. Your pick. Well... They get to know something's happening unless you, I mean, well, the, it's yeah, voice the, somatic I material. Yeah, no, I didn't make it. So you would just see Roken casting a spell. Um, yeah, after being silent for a little while. Hmm. Which making... I think I think they can make Arcana checks to recognize the spell, if I remember correctly. Sure. I, I think that's how it is. Are you making another group chat for me, Ian? Not 20. It's an out one. It's a, well, it's a, uh, you'll know. It's a sending spell. It's a sending spell. Oh. Okay. Oh boy, 25 words. Can we do this right? Yeah, 25 words. The side group chats are happening. And Prim's just there. I'm not interested. Alright, whoever wants to figure out what spell it is, make an arcana check. You got an at 20, so you know. I got an at 1. I don't even know. I'm just shocked. I'm discussing with her. Okay, you guys are still talking. Okay. So, you know, like, I I think the best option is just keep. Or cut off the wing. I mean, I'm not too opposed to that. I mean, to be honest, do we really even need to make that decision outright? Like, I, I'd say we should get there when we get there. Like, if they continue to keep fighting us and they're they're hurting, you know, go for the kill. But oh yeah, yeah. If they if they you know yeah. surrender, so to speak, then let's not. I agree. I agree. I do. I didn't. 
25 yeah. words, John. I do not yeah, want them. I, <laughs> I have to think hard about this. <laughs> I thought very hard, and I do not want war, another war to happen. And it seems like they might cause that, potentially, accidentally. Well, we best be careful not to do that now, right? Yeah, so let's not die. That sounds a good start. <laughs> Um, yeah. what, what do you think? Well, I'm not too particularly fond of the idea of all magic going away, considering how much chaos it caused to begin with when it first entered again. Um, I think it might be better than allowing, as the blue dragon had said, <laughs> oh my god, I forgot her name again. Tar- uh, Tarvac. 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 <laughs> as Tarvac has said, um, you know, allowing this isn't the message, but I'm just asking a question. Those who are pursuing uh, evil to do their question. own yeah, thing. Yeah, DM question. And those who are good to do their own thing, that would, I believe, would cause more chaos. And as you said, we just left a war. Yeah. So I'm double check what I wrote in your notes. I've got them. Um, okay. After being, I don't think I put it. I would You're say basically almost, right, but I want to double check. Almost okay. freed. I've decided I have three goals in life. <laughs> three, oh, no. three goals exactly in life. three goals in life so there's one person I need to kill oh my god okay that needs to happen one. maybe that might change but the, right now he wants to die the other one is to he prevent another oh, I want to kill it okay <laughs> don't worry about it the other one is to prevent another war from happening because okay. that's where all my shit started <laughs> and fuck that and I might have forgotten the third um, one. Hang on, I got two wrapped up in my head. Yeah. Oh my. Oh god. Yes. Okay. Yes. You go with this? Oh yeah. There you go. Take down the wizard core, no matter what. Is there a particular reason for this? Yeah, they're the ones who fucked me over. So. Make an intelligence saving throw. <laughs> really? About one of your one of your goals. Intelligence saving throw? Alright. I'm not very Intelligence smart. saving throw is a DM hint. Okay. The potion slowly wears off. Uh, it's a straight roll for a 16. If you want to destroy the wizard core, going with the wizard's core, the wizard core's bona fide ally might not be the best option. Do you, do you get what I mean? himself? Yeah. You take them down from the inside. <laughs> That's fine. Yeah. I'm just saying. <laughs> that is the only reason I have agreed to be here. So those are my goals. You know, you guys have your own goals. Oh, but I'm just going to lay it on the table so everyone knows at least, you know, what, what I got going on. I appreciate Well, your two, two people know what I, what I got going on. Not her over there, and I'll point it <laughs> <laughs> You really want to start this right now? Come on. Come at me. <laughs> She's gonna just like walk up to you and like just not touch you, but like, you know. I'm not touching I'm not you. Touching you. <laughs> Maybe I have four goals, but I'm not sure yet. <laughs> but yeah, that, that, that's, my life, that's my life right now, you know? Right, hey, do you want me back in now? Yeah, give me another 10 minutes. Sounds like you got everything all lined up there. <coughs> yourself. Wait, real quick. Armageddon's gonna <laughs> chime in. I want some meat. Oh, <laughs> completely unrelated. What about mushrooms? Time. Uh, I am. I am it. <laughs> I am officially it. Yep. I'm gonna make you him... did that while you were like asleep, right? Yeah, that was the cutest thing. A little. large tile of the meat. You're gonna see his tail come up from the ground and just go <laughs> and just grab some. And then gonna like feed it towards the front. That's fine. It's like you're gonna see like a little little like trench open up and it just like... It's like a shawarma thing. It's just a, it's just a slab. Oh, so no. you can cut off as much as you want. There you he go. doesn't cut off any. He just goes <laughs> with his tail oh. and seems to inject poison into it. Uh, and then it gets dragged toward him. Do you think you can inject these mushrooms with poison? Then we can keep them for later. <laughs> How porous are mushrooms? <laughs> Alright, welcome back to the group chat. No, oh. nothing important was discussed by everybody. I highly doubt that because I wasn't here, so nothing important ever happened. I'm kidding, I'm kidding. She's the main character. <laughs> she's me mean. She's so me mean. You know she's me mean. Okay. So, Kaylin, you can try it. Yeah. The answer is it would need preparation. Yeah. You couldn't just inject 
he, I would need yeah, to you milk. You could just inject it. You would have to, uh, <laughs> like, to dehydrate milk. the mushroom, and oh. then you would rehydrate it with poison. Oh. I love that as a concept. But do you think... Okay. Well, one of these days, I should, like, try and inst- dis- uh, <laughs> take out the poison out of your stinger, but, like, in a way where you can keep the stinger. Like, you know? Let's Let's not. <laughs> Let's not do that. No. You would take away my prime defense method. No, I'm not taking it away. I want it for the mushrooms. So but we can poison our enemies. Don't you dare touch my scorpion's poison. I'm not your scorpion. He is <laughs> Excuse own. me, sir. I am my own man. <laughs> you are my own You beast. are your own scorpion. <laughs> that is not wrong. But don't you dare touch my scorpion. I might be forced to like you because of a spell. He likes me better than you. That is false. Don't you dare chime in. <laughs> I created you. And? Actually, you gave me intelligence, which I haven't decided whether that's a good thing or a bad thing yet. I will also label that creation. <laughs> Are you still piping, John? Are you still figuring yeah. out your... Oh my god. I'm, I'm yeah. one word off. Do we want to take a quick break? Are you, are you guys, like, still no, legitimately discussing it? I think it? we are. Or have you guys kind of, like, picked what each of you want no. to do? Well, I, no. I, I know what I want to do. I know they got to decide what yeah. they're Wait, hear me okay. out. Yeah, what actually. if we destroy... I just destroy... don't want everyone to be waiting because John is drafting no. a message, you know? What if we destroy both artifacts? No one's happy about it, but we don't have to worry about it either. I do not think we are strong enough to do that. I think destroying the book would uh, lean more towards... Side. Yeah, but then wait, but then oh. So if we destroy the book and then we can't get the information to destroy the last remains of Uma Norin, I don't think Telendron would be too happy about that. But we can't decipher the book without their knowledge. We don't uh, know that. Well, there I mean, might be other characters. Neither one of them think that you can. Well, yeah. But we might be able to. Um. We could just go in the retreat and just hide in there forever. <laughs> <laughs> Rogan is not paying attention, so he has no idea. <laughs> Rogan, are you guys? You've just been staring at the sand <laughs> well, this, for 20 minutes. He's like, I'm drafting a message. <laughs> <in my mind." laughs> this would probably happen a lot more quickly. Again, are you but, scared? Uh, are you okay? Don't bother the turtle while he's he is so. to, he is in the middle of casting spell. Yeah. Exactly. I th- I don't think that this would be happening at any different speed. I think that Rogan yeah, would, would be sitting there have to think, that's figuring what, yeah. out what his twenty five words would be. So I what? say we we label sorry, not to cut you off, but we just label what we want to do and then we decide from there. Alright, you start. <laughs> <laughs> On the spot. You have the stick. Yeah. Well, firstly, in regard to your previous question, what would we gain by getting rid of those artifacts? We've done this before, and it didn't really get us anywhere except for being left for dead. Uh, no one's happy Oh, was it twice before? No, it, it was a joke. Left oh, okay. Oh, yeah. It was a bad joke. Mm, it was a bad joke. <laughs> I got you. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> it went over my head, too, and I have played that game. <laughs> It's more so that neither one of them are going to be happy. Well, Telendrin, she's right. Telendrin would be happier about it. Because both of the artifacts are gone. But if both artifacts are gone, I mean, we're either fighting two dragons or three. Yeah. I mean, they're they're all going to be mad because we didn't really do what What either of them wanted. One of us just ends up going to the other side. What if we split the party? Oh no. Do I need to bring up my loading screen? Are you volunteering? No, I'm saying you're doing it. Oh, that's fine. Oh, okay. And what do you propose? We just go over there and. We send him a sending stone. Okay. And you're like our informant from the inside. (laughs) They were still at the party. For those of you that I mean, can't see this, like, I would be totally down. Do you want to show the uh, the screen? Uh, Will has. I have a, a, I have a loading screen. Has loading screens. I don't know if he has. I don't do. Yeah. Just in case you guys wanted a little DM tip. tip. <laughs> DM tip for one hundred and fifty. Never I split the party. Oh no! Yeah, I do. Yeah. Cool. Okay. Well, I'm just saying. I right, sure. I'll do it. I don't want to lose you again, though. Well, you just suggested me going, so. I was doing the No, I was doing the sisterly thing. Um, might split you out of the group chat again. <laughs> I just got you back. Hang on, he still hasn't answered his my question. Oh, what yeah. do you want? This is my question. <laughs> this is my question. What is the question again? What do you want to do? 
Yeah, yeah. Um, Do you want to kill him or what? I mean, you weren't here for it, but we were having a pretty solid conversation. Right, that's the message. And, uh... <laughs> Ready. I mean, <laughs> Ready to wrap to it into John. one word. <laughs> Uh, basically, I think we should fight them. Okay. What do you think we should do? I love that you had to condense it. Yeah. <laughs> it I is very broken English. <laughs> I, I think, think I got the message across, though. We tried. I think we need to come up with a better compromise. I don't think we need to kill them. I also have 25 words, I right? think we need to yes. fight them, but not necessarily kill them. They're and gonna kill us. That, that was pretty I mean, I'm sure he has the power earlier. to uh, We decided, just do it again to me. thought <laughs> that it would be wise to maybe not outright kill them. Yeah. Just maybe maim them and hopefully they'd go away and then... Mm -hmm. I mean, maybe that's just, you know, kicking the but bucket down the road. But either way, we're going to have to choose a side. We either go with Helen or we go with the blue lady. Oh, yeah. So my yeah. goal is... My goal is for <laughs> you might even have to upcast it, I don't know. Oh, yes. That's the fourth? I don't really... Sure. I, it doesn't matter. Okay. Okay. I need to infiltrate. You rolled high enough on Arcana okay. that yeah. you got to do so it all. That's so that's why we The dragons? No. What are you infiltrating? The spill boys. Oh. Yeah. The spill boys. The spill boys. <laughs> Sounds like, like a, a bad like. Like a nineties metal boy, uh, <laughs> boy band. The spell boys. They're my rival bard. <laughs> <laughs> the Wizards Academy. <laughs> Competition's oh, no. pretty uh, aggressive. Yeah, yeah. yeah. They beat me in the choir one day. It's not okay. Hey, I remember you coming home crying about it. Okay, so I don't think we can compromise, but. We're gonna have to pick a side either way. So that's your choice. Okay, what is your choice? I think I would prefer to go with Telendrin, but I, you know, I don't think I would prefer not to get into a fight. But I don't see us going into a Telendrin without getting into a fight with the blue okay. dragons. I think you've been voted out. I'm sorry. I'm always voted out. Yeah. Sorry. <laughs> okay. All right. We're gonna okay. call this initiative. Sorry, I gotta cut plan out some words, but it's, it's like right it's all good. This is plan C if anyone asks, okay? Alright, I mean. So, I think the <coughs> moment we say plan C. What is A and B? This is, a, this is a tactic to confuse them, so they think we have an A and B, so they think we're smarter than we are. Uh, Alright. Okay. Okay, okay, what is the plan? We attack. Okay. I'm a D. Do you have a better idea of the 26. It <laughs> kind of does have the power like to just said. cast it again, I feel like, but I don't know. Or something like that. Because uh, like, honestly, yeah, yeah, yeah. I feel like we're in a really big check. Line. For the sake of continuity, so okay. I'm just going to turn go all of you into a giant ape and you spell. run in punching. Okay. <laughs> Aha, contractions I are my I would rather point. stay back. <laughs> I'd rather not do that. I don't think mushrooms will look good on me. What is your opinion? <laughs> uh, I want to know what <laughs> Roken has been up to. Oh, he does this all the time. Just, Are you sure? Just, I've never really seen Roken do he's this. He's just a little costume. I mean, he's taking a really long time, you know. Like, okay, so... It's, it's never like this. I just should be... I, he's eating all this crab, you know? I know, the crab... I think a better order. way to order that. Yeah. Not enough fiber. Here. I'm gonna yeah, resend it, just in a slightly yeah, more sure. coherent order. Okay. Well, I mean... I did have, I'll let you resend it and see if that answers the question as well. Why don't we just hide him somewhere? Because we'll just get attacked and killed. Mm. Also, I don't know if help. I'm not exactly an expert on the way that it would have gone. But okay. They don't I have an like, afterlife. Well, they probably could. I mean, I, notwithstanding that fact, they. I feel like they could find them even if we hid them. Like, even if we're really good at hiding things. I feel like they would find them. Just gonna delete the first one. They're the dragons, after all. I mean, they seem powerful enough to. To locate an object? I mean, Probably. really, why I mean, does she uh, keep going? Why does she need to ask for she has all this research. I'm not sure that I can. The book I can has well, well, yeah, so I'm, I'm asking, she hasn't it out like, by an now. implication. She's not figure it out so anytime they, soon. they clearly don't think You'll see what I mean. If it, if you can say it, this cannot be then answered. Then they don't need us anyway. Okay, but yeah. yeah, send me your question. We have tried to negotiate as much as humanly possible. We're not humans, okay? I was going to say, don't try to lower us to the standard. <laughs> Definitely takes a second for you to realize, oh wait, that's me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, don't insult her. I'm not insulting her, I'm just insulting the fact that we're superior. I'm, just, I'm kidding, I'm kidding. Am I? <laughs> so I don't know if I like her, I can cut her out whenever you say <laughs> My man. I'm just tired. I have these rollers in, I want to go to bed. So we attack at night. I 
her blue dragon's that's camp station. Night that you can How did they get that's here? A, that's, that's a reasonable... They flew with like, their wings. That's reasonable. It's night that's a reasonable How did they it's come here? Dust. That's, that's kind of he, all I'm going with. He said it was you know, nighttime. Like, okay. Like, Who I, is I he? can't confirm <laughs> nor deny, but I can admit the that that's a reasonable like, <laughs> okay. Now, if you wanted to cast it again, and... Ask. No one else hears it? It'd be more rules. Oh, I mean, sometimes. Yes. It would See? be more rules. You know, for once, I'm actually going to agree with you. you that I hear voices God. in my head. I feel like too. I can't. Not like, like your creepy <laughs> weird voices. More, you don't have to freak more me. I'm, I'm going to say <laughs> this is all you get. I'm just, maybe you get the implication that he's not going to give you any more. Yeah, that was an accident, though. Usually yeah. they don't scream he's, like that. He also sent me for a reason, so he's somewhat disconnected. Yeah. Well, oh. Oh, thank you. You're welcome. Yes. Merry Christmas. But he does hear voices too, and sometimes the voice in my head tells us little tips and tricks to like put us on the right path. Honestly, I think he's like my god or something. <laughs> but I think the little voice in my head. I think he's my god, says the cleric. <laughs> Sorry. It's the DM. It's the DM that's in my head. <laughs> Is it? I, I lost track of your conversation. Oh, I'm over here doing this right thing. Yeah, yeah, Rokin stands DM up is gone. and turns <laughs> yeah. around. You turn yeah. around. Okay, Are you so done so being constipated? Like to catch me up. We're, we're three to one. We're going to attack them. I've determined they cannot see at night. <laughs> Wait, what? Intelligence saving throw. Intelligence saving throw. I believe they may even have sight above ours, but um, I don't know about that. I contacted the one who sent me here oh my from God. the planet I come from. It was difficult to do. I, I'm not sure if I could do it again, but... The turtle? <laughs> uh, he didn't look like he, a turtle when you did yeah, it. He is, he is not like us. Oh, He's okay, not. okay. Sorry. That is, that is part of the reason the spell struggled to work. Mm. Um, Does he also tell you what to do in your head? No. Oh, no, this see, it's is just the us. first time I've talked to him since I was sent here. Right? Mm. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> what did he say? He's a pretty hands-off kind of god. Not much, but he said uh, a war like this between a, a god and his world's people has never happened before. And I was also informed, well, at least with what he said, I can imply that Umanorin is the only source of magic known. So, ending him may end all magic. Just a guess, but... Well, it's I, I got no... and uh, He remains neutral on this choice. So... Really is for your hands off. Leaves it, yes. Leaves it up to me. So we'll but I, I am also of the opinion that we should go against these blue dragons. Their deal sounds significantly worse to me. I just don't want to end magic. Well, we'll get there I, we get there. I don't think that's a decision we have to make now, but I think. I think we have. Ourselves to servitude immediately does not sound very. Yes, I. Yeah, that's true. Yes, Telendrin is not forcing our hand as much as these blue dragons would. Mm-hmm. Nor can we face a Telendrin than all these wizards right now. Mm-hmm. I didn't say right now. <laughs> no, I... We're on Operation E. Plan E, okay? So we're on Plan C. Yeah. Let's attack the dragons. Oh, okay. E is for the future. Infiltrate. Okay. E for infiltrate. Yes, infiltrate. <laughs> <laughs> e for infiltrate. No, 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 no. <laughs> e for in. Taking the French uh, Yeah, this man's French. Taking <laughs> the French. Plan N for infiltrate. <laughs> infiltrate. Infiltrate. So, do we want to attack them like nighttime, now, in the morning, like an honorable standoff? Okay, to be clear here, the blue dragons or all the dragons? The blue dragons. Okay, I just wanted to double check because I, I also oh checked out of your Even the green ones. I am. It's like, fuck them. I am much dead. stronger. See a dragon? As you know. Kill it. Yeah. Sorry about it. Do it? Much I, said, I am much stronger in the night, as you know. Yes. I am the night. <laughs> so if, if your god is neutral, that does mean that there is no wrong choice here, right? So I think whatever we do will be fine. Not for me. Well. If there's I, obviously a bad choice, your god would say it, right? In, in his opinion, yes. You okay. would say so. So there's I no wrong choice here. 
I don't know if this world would know how to function without magic anymore. Mm-hmm. I don't know if... That, that's not what we're deciding right now, you know? Yes. That's I, like, I think that, no, is, really, like I think that is a later here. decision, regardless okay. of which path we choose. That is fair. No, it feels like we, we choose the blue dragons for choosing to protect magic. A little bit I'm sooner. I'm not sure that is the case, because... I, Teladrin will still try and accomplish it without us. So here's the plan. Yes, we kill they, the blue dragons, both, and so eventually we kill Teladrin. They will both well, yeah. still follow their goals without us. Oh. So, regardless of who we side, we can turn on them or do something else Great. later. Love it. So, I'm so proud. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> My little band of renegades. <laughs> Curb your enthusiasm. Um, are they going to come in the morning? We attack at night. We just can attack it right now? Well, we gotta, like, make a plan at least. Okay. Teladrin's gonna go for one of them, we're gonna go for the other one, mm-hmm. and then we all focus one. Uh-huh. Sounds... sounds good. Mm-hmm. Grim said she wants me to turn her into a giant ape and send her... <laughs> <laughs> no, what I said is I don't want to do that. I, I think her abilities would lessen in that form. It's better to use that for emergencies. Do you think there's a possibility that psychic damage does no damage to these things as well? Because my brain um, has not been able to attack anything for my the knowledge, longest time. My knowledge of dragons is much better than it is machines. I, I am somewhat certain it would work. <laughs> somewhat? <laughs> <laughs> you both have confidence. <laughs> You know, you fought blue dragons. Like you yeah. fought these yeah, exact things. Yeah, we would just, we would just, just younger. We would ones. just remember. Yeah, it was just right. Yeah. 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 I, will, got I know it's someone got it's, turned I into stone. I know it's immune to lightning, but was it thunder too? I don't think you guys tried thunder. And we didn't try thunder. I was about to. Yeah, we were about to. <laughs> Bird boom blade. I pro- yeah, I was gonna say I probably would have if I wasn't the statue. But yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> can I roll? Oh yeah, roll can, out can magic for your sending spell, my guy. I thought oh, I, I thought that was the, the one. Or the, no, it's a four, so we're good. Yes. Um, can I roll to see if I can oh, yeah, recall that with my favorite? Oh, my the, their resistances and immunities and all that. Sure. Make a uh, history check. Advantage. With advantage. Someone else cast this spell. Much better. Eighteen. Eighteen. Okay. They are immune to okay. lightning. That's it. Yep. All right. Yeah, so, yes, he is certain. <laughs> oh, so sweet. Psychic damage will work. All right. <laughs> Okay, Wait. I mean, I think we come up with a plan to attack them, maybe not kill them, and go on our oh, way, yeah. and... My psychic abilities have grown as well. Okay. <laughs> that doesn't sound ominous at all. Yeah, we'll just attack them until they're maimed, and then, and then tell them to go away. Okay. Okay. Sounds good. We're not killing them. I would Ideally not, but too. if we have to. Oh, we Sorry. forgot about that key yeah. detail in the uh, pet. Well, I mean... No, no, no. We are ideally going to attack them if we have to kill them. We do, but yes. ideally, we do not kill them. I would prefer not to orphan the other but two dragons. How do we keep them from returning later? We orphan them and then we control the orphan oh. dragons. No, I That's do not think they will come back. Diabolical. We, that is very by the time they recuperate, <laughs> I feel like they might Get not be head. coming back. Considering your life goals, I think they might most certainly come back. I, I what were your goals again? I can't, like, I was kind of talking with uh, kill a person. <coughs> I want to kill Marry someone. Marry this woman. No, then what? <laughs> a woman, a woman. No, it's not true at all. What? I want to kill a person, infiltrate the wizard court, take it down, and uh, prevent a war from everybody. Oh, prevent the war. Right? Yeah. There's no marriage. marriage. Yeah. That was yours. That's long gone. Yeah. No, it wasn't. I don't even know what you're talking about. I, I got married. I got married. Yeah, I'm like. Prim was married. Yeah, I'm like. What? No one's I just am noticed. I'm fairly confident they would return, but. If you kill one of them, then it's easier in the future. It would also it would also intimidate the other three of them from returning. To uh, yes. I think the kids would come back with them, with with the we're gonna, grandparents. Yeah, we're gonna uh, with a vengeance. Yeah, generational vengeance here. Well. I mean, they're going to be upset regardless of what we do. If the op- if the choices fight them, whether we choose to kill them, kill one, or kill both, we'll kill you. Kill them or not kill them, or just kill one. They're going to be upset regardless. I, I can promise they value their life more than these artifacts. 
So they won't come back if they know we can beat them. Oh, yeah. <laughs> 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 yeah, you don't seem very yeah, certain. Yeah, I was going to say you. They can go power just as we can. As long as we have Teledrin, then we should be okay. Yeah. Well, Until we double cross. With our current plans, we may not always have Teledrin. No. Yeah, but that's future. That's when we flip sides. We gotta deal with today's t- problems to deal with tomorrow's. We should at least consider the future possibilities. Nah. Let's take an alliance with Taka. No. <laughs> 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 Long chain is maybe that's screw, the option. Why don't we hold Taka? Taka. <laughs> Actually, where is Taka? Do you have another sending spell? For sure, you have a sending I, spell. We have a sending spell to Taka. I have not used the one with Taka. Would you like it? Yes. Broken fish. You want to give it to me? Or broken okay. fish is a thousand things. Well, you know what you want to say. You know what you want to say to him, right? All right. Do you know right now the 25 words that you're going to send to Taka? No. We can okay. take a break. No, let's take a break. Okay. <laughs> While you come up with those words, oh. so we'll be back in just a And we are back. So, uh, so you sent your message to Taka. So oh, I gotta grab it. I'm gonna send it. Just so everyone knows. Oh, in like the full, full thing. Oh, she's saying it out loud. It's Theo. We might fight Tarvek and Dartel. Opinion on this? They want sword, and to enslave us. Can you help if necessary? Yours truly. <laughs> So, uh, in response, we'll hear, Hi Theo, it's Tychonothir. Slaves or minions? I disagree with blues generally, but they probably want to study the sword. What's the deal? Question mark. From my knowledge, we have one sending stone, and it yep. only works once. Mm-hmm. Okay, well, I'll get back to him tomorrow, then. Wait the message after the beep. So what was his final thing he said? What's, What's the, the deal? deal? And something with the sword? Yeah, uh, I disagree with blues generally, but they probably just want to study it. What's the deal? Oh, we'll talk about that. Do we have any? <coughs> Do you have any spell slots? Do I have no. anything? Oh, well, yeah, I was going to see. I can continue, but. I don't think it's worth it. Right. Wait, wait, wait. I wait. just wanted to leave him on a cliffhanger. Wait, I have, I have sending. But is it worth the spell slot? What, we're about, to, we're about to go. Oh, I don't know what that was. We're about Here, to go to... DM feet. You guys are about to take a long rest. You guys are saying we're about to go take a long rest. If we want to. If you we want might to. be fighting at night. Well, so I don't, I guess I don't know that I described it well. The blue dragons flew away. Yeah, oh, they, they flew away, yeah. yeah. I thought they left like... No, they were coming like, back. Over there. No, no, no. no. Still uh, Telendrid so went could... over there. Yeah. Uh, the blue dragons flew away. Them, right? Yeah, we could we could request them to find them. But that's fair. Okay, yeah. Okay. Could reach out. Yeah, just to be clear. <laughs> they, they flew away. What is the deal with them? What? What's the deal they've given us? It's to... They want the sword, sword and the, and the, the book. The book required to... Um, See the way Uminor, or the yeah. knowledge to see the way Uminor, and um, they want us to be their slaves. Not slaves. <laughs> They're gonna pay us. Close enough. Uh, we would have a bond. We, we would have a bond. The bond. So, so, however, you want to be that slave. Yeah. But I, I will say, <laughs> I might not have worded it correctly, or I might have in, like implied something else, but I don't know that they would necessarily take the sword from you. They just want to study it. Yeah, but they didn't want to go trade these with the books. That's fair. I'm done. You know, I'm just letting you know, like, that's, that's the fair. thing. That's fair. You know, it's not like they would take it and keep it forever, and you would never get to use it again. They definitely just want to study it. Are we seeing that anti magic is hyphenated in one word? Just say the sword. Okay. It's a compound word, which counts as one. Okay. I'm just trying to make sure. In my <laughs> I'm just trying to. All right. I think in Microsoft Word, I can't remember if it counts as one or two. Well, she's going to use the sending spell. All right. Okay. All right. All right. I'm going to actually think about this. To <laughs> like, like, cut the video while we're sitting there. No, no, no I got it. I got it. You got it? You got yeah. 25 words? I think so. You want to type it out? No, I can't. Just go for it. Now I'm second guessing myself. Just do this. Let's go. Hey. She's good. Hi, Taka. It's Prim. They want the sword and the book that can seal away Uminorin and a bond with us. 
How is that? Is it 20? 21? 21? Yeah, 21, 22-ish. I, I really don't know. I lost count at one point. <laughs> what should we do? <laughs> we'll call it good. Uh, a book that can seal away Uminoran. Is it knowledge? What? <laughs> <laughs> you already sent your message. <laughs> That's crazy. <laughs> <laughs> you found that? <laughs> oh, I really fucked this up, didn't I? Are you sure? <laughs> <laughs> oh. Is it What's the alternative that Telendrind is telling you? Take the book and run. <laughs> We gotta make the choice ourselves. Mm hmm. Alright, my friends, I'll send it again. Yeah, maybe clarify the fact that the book is just needs to be deciphered to find his location and maybe ask Taka if he's capable of doing that. Okay. Okay. That was just me saying it, okay? That is not me saying it in the message! <laughs> okay! <laughs> okay, okay. That, that's one. That's I know. Two. The book. All the fingers fly up while we're sitting here. Caitlin's, Caitlin's fucking it up. The bug is to... What is it to do? Find Uminoran's remains. Find Uminoran's remains. Uh, Telendrin said it's up to us. Uh, but he doesn't want conflict. Or death <laughs> is actually the, the word she should use. Death of the blue dragons. How many is that? Four again. Four again? I think so. I think you're at like 20-ish, yeah. We're going at 21 right now. What else to say? Help us decipher it. Can you decipher the book? Can you decipher it? Can you decipher book? Can you decipher the <laughs> <laughs> Can you decipher books? Can you decipher runes? Can you decipher runes? It is fine. <laughs> Good job. So they both want to study it. Question mark. Yeah, like so they both want to study it. I've never dealt with runes before. So I know I'm saying it in my normal voice, but it's because I'm literally sitting here counting. <laughs> I've never dealt with runes before. So I don't know if I could do it. Oh. Reply to this message. So... so <laughs> Yeah, so he's gonna now cast sending the continue. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go! <laughs> we broke the system! <laughs> yeah, so he's now gonna send, send sending. I don't know. Does he have that spell? <coughs> I don't even know. He does now. He does now, <laughs> yeah. Um, I feel like that'd be a spell for a brass dragon to have. I mean, he could have been doing it before we steal it. Huh. I can't. She keeps dragging against she my legs. She senses my stress. Oh. Emotional support animal. My emotional support cat. Yeah. Fuck it, he has it. Um. <laughs> yeah, ma. Uh. I don't like blue dragons. But I don't like Telendrin either. <laughs> oh my god. That's amazing. I told you. We're all on the same side. <laughs> we all don't like him. Did they tell you what they would do with the information? Did Telendrin? There you go. You guys get a response for free. So, so. Yeah, that's what you said. Either side really said what they would do with the information. So the blue dragons definitely said they just said they wanted to study it and then 
make sure magic Land. keeps going. So, but Telendrin said with multiple to worlds, use, use the book to. Yes, Telendrin says he wants to use the book to ultimately stop Umanoth from ever coming back. Uh huh. Telendrin wants to stop Umanoth from ever coming back. Blue dragon like. Like, no. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Here we go. <laughs> mm. Teledrin wants to use the book. <laughs> you didn't have to cast. That was this is your response to his. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. This isn't a cast, but it still needs to be twenty-five words. Teledrin wants to use the book. That could be five five-word recaps. <laughs> to <laughs> destroy Unorin forever. <laughs> Blue dragons. Want magic to continue on this world. <laughs> on all worlds. <laughs> it is on all worlds. Yeah. Send help. <laughs> F's in the chat. <laughs> F. F. There are laws about this sort of thing. <sighs> I can't make the choice. Oh. My question to you is Is magic something you want for everyone? It's 25. See? That might have been 20. I might have done that wrong. It was 25. Oh, so he sent one back, so we get another free response? Mm -hmm. Sure. Hell yeah. Yeah, he's now casting. He's helping you out. He's like, okay, we're, we're having a conversation. Free shit. Okay. No. <laughs> you really know my response. Yeah, I know. It's more so who can we trust. No one but ourselves. Mm. Yeah. We're also making a decision that impacts... Millions of people on this planet mm -hmm. who either really like magic or don't. Mm -hmm. So there's that as well. And really, who are we to make such a big decision? I mean, they didn't make the choice to die when magic was created. Hmm? They didn't make the choice to die when magic was created. No, but now it's here. And now it's the responsibility of everyone. Or it could not be. Well. There's a lot of positives to it. There's also a lot of negatives. Mm -hmm. Magic, let me bring back your memories. Magic took away my memories. Mm -hmm. So if you go backwards, <laughs> oh <my God. laughs> then it would never have happened without the magic. Okay. Massive brain. <laughs> it was the egg. Magic or <laughs> not, you won't change the past. Yeah. I know. to decide the future. You guys have yeah. haven't responded to mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. Do you guys still get a response? Oh. <laughs> Party split on this decision. <laughs> can you, you, you've done my job! <laughs> you can say that. Yeah. Can you enslave us instead? <laughs> <laughs> Do you want to ask you? <laughs> But for real, do we want what do we want to do? You can ask him to mediate and between them. I don't think that's gonna happen. No, I don't think he'll do it either. I don't I don't think we have to make the greater decision on magic yet. Still. But. It seems like Taka is implying that this is the choice. This is the choice. But we could always change our mind. Well, later. as you stated it, he was like, What do they want to do with it? And you guys said, and he said, Okay, which do you agree with? Mm-hmm. That is true. You know, it's not, you know. Oh, we're, we're pulling out the, the lore book here. So what you're saying is, oh. you, also <laughs> in, you also agree with trying to ensue chaos and letting evil do its thing. Uh-huh, well, it's, it's the will, human will, will Good power luck. to do either. What? Good things and bad <laughs> things will happen. Regardless. Magic, there will always be that balance. Yes. 
I mean, you're talking to a cleric here. The balance of good and evil and life and death are just are. Grumpkin, did you come here with this magic? This a politician. It doesn't say words. I was gifted by an existential crisis. This lady said a bunch of words and nothing was said. It was just a bunch of hot air. <laughs> <laughs> the, the plus eight to persuasion coming in here. <laughs> Can we go find the crystalline dragons and then ask the therapy? <laughs> 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 no, I'm not. I'm not entirely opposed to that. I, <laughs> I don't know that we should do that over now, now, to be fair, Telendrin did say he didn't think there were any on this planet. I think. He's not all I'm just letting you know what he said. Remind me. We can ask. I am not sure I share the opinion. Sorry. Go for it. I'm not sure I share the opinion of the blue dragons, but I think I am for magic. Yes. It is how I met all of you. Okay, well, we can oh, decide that later. They're <laughs> wholesome. Oh. oh, shit, I'm tearing up. And then he just steamrolled it. What I'm hearing is we're going to put this decision on the back this, burner and we're just going to go kill the blue. It. So, Root is going to come out of nowhere. <laughs> <laughs> they could yes, not have so it. Without a can, can I state my opinion? Yes, yes sure. Ruth. I'd like to state my opinion. Okay. Magic gave me words. Uh-huh. Yeah. How do you feel about that? I have words now. Uh-huh. Are we getting? I can move. How do you feel about magic giving you magic words? Magic gave me words. <laughs> <laughs> This is literally a dilemma, right? <laughs> <laughs> this is your problem. You did this to them. Yeah, I knew we were going to come with this conflict, so I prepared us for the future by creating this in the past, <laughs> so we'd be more equipped to deal with you the situation. You had no idea this was fucking happening. <laughs> I, I controlled all the strings. <laughs> I am the puppet master. <laughs> I am the dungeon master. <laughs> oh. oh my god. He's bribed. Swap seats with me right now. <laughs> 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 Shit, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Roll for persuasion. Yeah, then I can read your book and figure out what you have and haven't figured out. Don't you dare. Hey, well, what do I say to Taka? I wonder who Taka trusts. It sounds like he trusts the Blue Dragon Core in this situation. Oh. Ask him what he'll do if we bring the artifacts to him. Oh. I personally think that. Both of both Telendrin and the Blue Dragons are on both sides of an extreme, and we are somewhere in the middle. I think so. Mm-hmm. I agree with that. Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. Perhaps maybe we could uh, ask Taka for some sort of some sort of leverage. Oh. I don't know really how. <laughs> Do I've you been have thinking. the tea? <laughs> but maybe he could provide something that would balance us out a little bit. You know, give us something. An edge that we're looking for. Do you think if we told them that we have a really big, scary dragon who's our friend that no. they don't know about, they would be intimidated? No. Okay. no. <laughs> Depends on how, bo- how good the bluff is. Than them. Okay. Uh, I thought I was pretty good at convincing before. I have a bigger work, brother so. than you, and he can beat you <laughs> My up. My dad can beat up you, too. <laughs> 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 My dad him. owns. My dad is one of the wizards of the coast. <laughs> I do agree. Maybe he has a maybe he has a way to give us an edge. He did say he yeah, can't. I don't think that's as I don't think that's as cool of a thing as it used to be. He's <laughs> <laughs> no, saying that. It's totally not. He's the West Coast wizard. Yeah. <laughs> I say. He, my dad's the cool one. <laughs> he doesn't like the neurogia. <laughs> okay. I mean, it's worth a shot. Like Sorry, worst case no scenario, he could say no. Yeah. yeah. So you know. Okay. So maybe ask him what happens if we bring it to him, and if he has any ideas on how to give us an edge in the situation. And anything he has to provide to the yes, if he has anything to provide, just replace the. Uh, I mean, there is. Send my love. <laughs> <laughs> there is a potential. It's not enough words for this. <laughs> there's, there is a potential you that say, we could be in debt to him. Do, do we feel that's that? worth it? Yeah, that's what we first said. Taka is okay. okay to be indebted to him. I don't know. I mean, this debt may be pretty big. Who knows? Um, I mean, the worst is we just have to listen to him talk. Like, I mean, I mean, we, could, we, we might die, I, but it's, 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 I, I might die if I you. listen to him talk. <laughs> I think I, I think sense it to you. The old talk a bit of a favor. A little bit. Yeah, we do. Yeah. yeah. Well, just oh. Oh yeah. Uh, yeah. Okay. 
What happens if we bring it to you? <laughs> Shit. What could you provide to this situation? Yeah. What can you provide to this situation? To situation help? is one word. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> yeah, I'll be myself. Situation. <laughs> yeah. you, did, you, did, you lifted two fingers for situation. Situation. <laughs> No sense <laughs> <lie>. <laughs> yeah. He's five or top. ten left, I don't know. I thought he had three. She had three. He had three left. Yeah. Okay, so... He said love. <laughs> uh, please don't bring them to me. <laughs> I would be honor-bound to help Telendrid. <laughs> I have told you I don't want any part in this. That's 25. Okay. Well, this is good information. Yeah. We know that they are required by duty to help each other out. But if it really hits the fan, he would help help. <laughs> <laughs> so that means he's another, he is another enemy. Shit. No. Well, he, uh, he, I think Taco would kill him instead of he could. I think the battle between the blues and the, bra- yeah. and the brass... Yeah, but the bronze, battle between like us would... tiny little mortals versus dragons, he would have Speak for it. yourself, not mortal. <laughs> but we'll if, find out. if we go, he said he would side with Telendrin. So if we go with Telendrin. If he, he must he... choose a side, he would choose Telendrin. Yeah. I know he doesn't want to choose a side, but you know we all have hard decisions to make in life. So. I see the point. What if you just the code send... What if you just send him a message saying, on the way? I have a code <laughs> <laughs> I think this is a very obvious si- t- decision. I think we found a toad soul. <laughs> what? <laughs> what did you say? Flip a toad soul. Oh. Like flip a coin. Oh. If it lands on I its think- head. Kill the blue I dragon. Tell, I couldn't tell you said flip. Okay, so. whoa, 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 wait, like the head of a toad? Yeah, like, yeah. Or just like the like the full thing like, with it? It's weighted. You do. It's, 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 they're magic. She always rigged it. No, no, no. <laughs> She's got the stem up here and it's yeah. just like... Yeah, like the stem weighs so much less. <laughs> they're perfectly I just don't know. No, I, it always flips on a head. No, no, it could be like the the, the bottle flipping thing where it flips on the bottle. No, and it's still you're like a 96% chance. Hey, I say we leave it to the dice here and see what the toadstool says. No, it is not the biggest decision we have to make. I don't think it is a good one to leave to chance. I'm gonna flip a toadstool. After <laughs> two hours of discussion. She flips the toadstool. To help you guys decide just a little bit, um, I will give you a DM, a free DM hint. Oh my Ooh. god. That your decision now is important, but you guys can all will always be able to make your own decision later. Like we'll remember so this I'm you. not <laughs> saying that it's not an important decision because it is. This will determine effectively who your allies are. But what I'm not saying is that this decision determines your later decision. I'm just saying. Yeah, I get what you're saying. You know, like, you guys are like, do you want magic or not? He is right. That is a decision you can leave for later. Now, you guys are going to get a very specific perspective on things if you go one way or another. I'm not telling you it's going to be the whole story. I'm telling you that it's going to be a very specific way of doing things. It's going to lead you, and the dragon you pick, or don't pick, you know, whatever, is going to give you information that the other one does or doesn't have. Does that make sense? But your decision will ultimately be your own. This doesn't lock you into anything except who, who you agree with right now. You will be bonded to the to whichever dragon you choose to a certain extent. Breaking the bond is a thing that that can happen. It's not like it's not like it's ir- ir- unbreakable. I'm just trying to help you guys out. I don't know if that made it worse or not. I don't want to make enemies with the golden retriever dragon. <laughs> Taka is a great dragon. Yeah, I love it. The golden retriever. Oh, that was telling me. Oh, sorry, Pat. Taka was a person. Yeah, my bad. My bad. Sorry. Now, also keep in mind with what Taka said. He'd be honor bound 
to help yeah. Telendrin. That doesn't mean that he would agree or that he would necessarily attack you. He just said that if it came to blows between the two of them, he'd be honor bound to pick a side. And that side would be Tundra. Not that he agrees. Honor and you know what you want are very is very often, you know, very common conflict. Okay. Just I'm I'm, I'm just trying to help to you out. I don't know if I'm making it worse or not, but I'm trying to help. So I say set up the retreat. Uh-huh. And spot that they hopefully don't know what it is. Then we send one person out there with a fake sword, and then we attack from the back tomorrow. So we're choosing I, the side. I do like the idea of surprising them, but one thing we have to decide for certain is if we're delivering lethal blows. I don't think we do, unless we have to. So we believe dragons are a good thing for this world. I mean, that is something we have to consider as well. That's true. I don't know if we can make that choice yet. I don't know. I, uh, maybe Root or Armageddon will pick up. I don't know that you get to pick whether dragons get to are a good thing or not. They're here. I mean, we well, could, we could we say have, they're a good we thing. We have our own thing. opinion. Well, no, oh, well, that's fine. I'm just saying <laughs> that that's not the decision that we're trying to make. We are now the dragon. Well, is, if we, I mean, we are the dragon. We have, we have to solidify our opinion on that. So if we kill them or if we try to fear them. Uh, okay, yeah. well, that, that yeah. I, I, don't, think I don't think we we're trying to kill fear them. them. Because if we can't intimidate them enough for them to not bother us... That would be very difficult to do. I'm saying this, we have... If we don't kill them, we have potential future allies in case things get really bad. Yeah. We don't want to kill off allies. Potential allies. But you never know. They might just, like, go most full out people, and kill Dre Killers. Most people don't uh, ally with people who attempt to murder them. So we're not attempting to murder them. We're just <laughs> attempting to maim. So we are in agreement we're that we're attacking the, the blue dragons. Oh, blue. my secrets! <laughs> <laughs> Yes, I think all we're all in agreement. I'm, I'm there you go. Wait, 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 wait. Let's okay, all say hold aye. On. <laughs> hold on, real quick. Did, okay. If we side with the blue dragons, did Telendrin say that he was going to attack us? No. Telendrin will just be very disappointed. And <laughs> he won't be mad. <laughs> he's just he's just disappointed. very disappointed. And we also probably lose Taka. If, if it comes to blows, we lose Taka too. Uh... We've already gained allies there. I, and I still don't see what these blue dragons have to give us. Potential knowledge. I, I feel like I lose plan E, so you know, I can't say that. But you get more, yeah. If it is true that they would give us artifacts, you would have more power from have the outside cost. to attack them. But I can only take so with, many fireballs. Going as <laughs> direct <laughs> and metallic blow, you may be taking fireballs to the face. Either way, if yeah. this is your plan. But well, no, that's a future problem. You know, Armageddon is going to say, but you would have a blue dragon to help you, or a family of them. I'm not trying to push you guys on any path. I'm still looking look for the green dragon ever again, and so, you know, I want to end this to be once for all. Or the green dragon. That is a plan. They're like crystalline. Uh, still much better, I believe. I thought they were yeah, chromatic. Agree. Chromatic, what? Well, green dragons are a thing. Yeah. Now, emerald dragons oh. are a different thing. But I, like, you guys know that crystalline are a thing. You guys have not, probably wouldn't know about emerald dragons. No, I doubt it. Okay, so we're going after the blue dragons. I think so. I, well, on a side note, I am very interested in pursuing the crystalline dragons. So, but Maybe we make that our, our like, side quest, you know? Sure. Okay. But yes, I am, I am also... <laughs> Campaign here, party here. <laughs> <laughs> I am also in favor of, for now, going against the blue dragons. Sounds good to me. So tomorrow, who will be sending out? Well, we gotta, we gotta all say we'll go with that. I say we just flip a toadstool. We can know your opinion. Okay, okay. What is your opinion? Oh, I'm still standing by what I said earlier. I, seems like the lesser of the evils, and uh, blue dragons just aren't offering enough of a deal to make it worth it. So I'd say we fight. No deal. All right, what's your <laughs> This is assuming they actually fight us. 
if we re reject oh, their plan. They will likely return in the morning. And yeah, we can just... them is our best option. Okay. I think we should side with Taco for now. However, I'm not sure that I'm set on siding with him forever. Do you mean Taco? Oh, sorry, my God. It's okay. Uh, so it's, it's one and the same. <laughs> <laughs> They're both have the same ideals. I told you the T names, all three of them. <laughs> and I can't even remember the third. <laughs> Perfect. But, uh, that is a long term decision. Mm -hmm. And for reasons that I cannot, I don't know. I don't think that some part of our world would survive if, if we were to lose magic completely, but I guess that's something we can explore later. So yeah. that is a much larger decision. We'll make the decision. Okay, hear me out. Do you want me to go out there alone tomorrow to say fuck you to the blue dragon to see if no. they attack, or do we just want to no, attack? No, no, we should just go out there and say we, it's, we've considered your offer and we would like to not take your offer. I think we inform Telegent of our friend plan, but we just hide in the shadows <laughs> and attack them the second they land. Well, oh, but, I, I, I mean, that. it's just <laughs> what if y'all hide in the shadows and we send someone out, and if it doesn't come to fighting, then we go on with we, our lives. And we give them a chance to notice Put us the at that point. in the, what's it called, realm? <laughs> what, what? Put the artifact in the... The shadow realm. Oh, in the, in the yeah. island retreat, yeah. it pops out as soon as they as I, close it. I think it would still affect the outside world, even if it was in there. Oh, I know. It's just temporarily for the fight, so we don't have to worry about it. Being stolen from us? <laughs> Who's staying in well, the island retreat? I'm gonna save his account to flip Armageddon. No, I, yeah, the thing I am unsure of their innate magical abilities, but they could. It may be. It may be safer on one of us. Mm. Okay. I still think we just tell them no and see if they'll fight us or not. <laughs> so I could repeatedly cast a message in uh -huh. the direction they flew off of until they get that within. That will not work. Until they get within range. I mean, 120 mm. feet isn't much for I'm a little like, dragon. <laughs> you would see them. Yeah. They would see you. Like, I'm just saying. 120 feet isn't that long in the. It's big in D and D, but it's not that, like that big in the grand scheme yeah. of things. I still think that's one turn for an adult dragon, <laughs> like flight wise. Less than. Uh, uh, yeah. Let me check. I think their speed's 80. But, but they might just yeah, back for off. Fly, yeah. It's not likely, but they might. I'll do it. I don't care. I don't know if I can lose you. Again. I could die. I'll kill you if you try and die. <laughs> I'll kill you if you die. <laughs> I'll kill you if you die. Okay. okay. You if you die, I'll murder you. <laughs> I will take your soul out of the realm Challenge. and bring you back as a ghost. No, 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 no. I really don't want to die. It's quite the threat. <laughs> it is quite the threat. Okay, I'm going to bed. This is too tiring. So are we just, are we doing, are we saying no, or are we She's just attacking? Really down I, I think we stage an ambush tomorrow, <laughs> no talk, but we should inform Telendrin of that. Okay, do you want to do that? Sure. Okay. <laughs> we never so, for Okay, so Telendrin, so are you guys, like are, you, to create the are you guys races? in the mansion? No, or the, the island yeah. retreat? You know, no, you guys are just kind of standing. standing. It's like yeah. dark now, yeah. by the way. Yeah. Okay. So, uh, in the moonlight, you guys have been just talking to each other. In our head. In your head. <laughs> yeah, telepathically this whole time. You, we're just sitting how in a, long we're just sitting in a circle. An hour? An we're, hour? We're just sitting in a circle. Yeah, he can how keep casting times? it. It's, it's a ritual. ritual. Okay. Infinitely. Yeah, then you're fine. Because um, you guys have been, to like, in just, real time, you guys have been talking for, like, two and a half hours. Just Sorry, sitting in, we're just sitting in a circle, staring at each other. <laughs> 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 hand hand <laughs> motioning. <Yeah. laughs> <laughs> and then you'll hear Armageddon, like... No. <laughs> yeah. The magic brought me words. <laughs> um, okay. So you look over. Telendrind is currently sitting around some sort of uh, campfire um, with the with the other wizards. What do you want to do? I am informing him. Uh huh. Mm -hmm. Would you we like could send, we could send uh -huh. someone else? Yeah. Would you like someone to accompany you? I can just message him from here. <laughs> so, that's so... We have 
technology. Let's use it. <laughs> <laughs> we, yeah. Yeah, I can just shoot him text. <laughs> FaceTime or whatever, yeah, yeah, yeah. whatever the cool kids do now. Hey, yo. You yeah. up? <laughs> <laughs> hey, my parents aren't home. Yeah. Come over. Okay. Tell Andrew to come over. <laughs> my parents are in. <laughs> well, yeah, I'll, yeah, I'll just message him and say, uh, tell Andrew, could you come over here, please? <laughs> just the message cam trip over to him. And, yeah. He's gonna respond. What's up, where is she at? Um. I didn't know I was a fan, but that's fine. I'm disappointed. It's definitely plan Z. It's always plan Z. It's not like that far away from us, right? Like, yeah, maybe like 30. Wait, 45. What difference does it make if I walk over there and Brissim walking no, no, over no, here? No, no, no. Don't joke. <laughs> 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 You're gonna hear back. Who sent it? Me. The message. Let me check the message. I can't remember. It's. I still have to respond word. to Taco. It'd be just. Be Poor guy. Totally just left him on red. Yeah. Um, <laughs> Taco on red. I never responded back to him. He did. Nope. He did. He did. He said. Sure no, he sent yeah, it back. In your head, you're gonna hear yeah, a sure. whisper. Uh, Leave it for tomorrow. We asked for. We cannot mm. talk. I can hear like. Oh, problem. He says we cannot talk tonight. Why? I don't know. So we gotta go to sleep like really quick and then get up really early. Do dragons even sleep? I don't know our plan. I guess so. Well, you you, you sleep for a shorter time. Oh, so. that is true. So I do too. You could let him know our plan. Okay, sounds good. I can come with you. He just only suggested me, sorry. <laughs> I will leave that up to you too. Damn it. Okay. Okay. I, I take out the rocks and I make the island retreat. <laughs> the portal. Okay. You guys go inside? It, it is only. I, I think I allowed Telendrin and Aruin in before, but now it's just us five this time. And obviously the Armageddon and Root and Peaplot are allowed, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> 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 Armageddon goes, buries himself in the sand as per usual. Root uh, is a tree. Okay. Yep. I sleep. He's sleeping. And then he retreats to his cave and, and, and into his shell. Shlomp. Mm. Wait. Alright. <laughs> I need your help. <laughs> God. You do not have four hours. I'm, I will I'll say. Be four hours. Oh God, I'm just gonna let you do it. I need like five yeah. minutes. I know you're done. <laughs> So you I know. Roll wild magics, I can. You will. Uh, Technically, all of those sending that you sent would have needed to roll wild magic. Are you doing it before? Uh, huh? Are you doing it before it's the rest? Two. Before it's, the rest. Yeah. You want to involve okay. one? Roll wild magic for me, Adrian. Uh, I don't think I need it. Three. Okay. Oh, well, I, I, I guess because no, I'll take it because if I have to make a save on the wild magic, it would it's help. a one. Yeah. You get two wild okay. magics. Yep. It's yours. I you roll. Right here. Bond, nice. Two more D20s. Roll, roll one yeah, of them. Okay. Or I guess you will need 12. 50 gold worth of stuff. Alright, the first one. Alright, roll a D100. Oh shit. All yours. I forgot the wild magic for the sending. So, if, if, unless it, I mean, it might affect something. She might just lose her hand. No, it's 86. 86. Yeah, 86. I wonder if that one's on his list. Uh, you feel really, really good one oh. of the times that you send, uh, sending. You know, I, I really think we're going to get a positive message here. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, roll, uh, roll again. Roll uh, again. 11? Okay, roll D1. Oh. Wait, I thought 11 wasn't a surge. 48. Oh, shoot. Oh. For six hours, you glow pink. Oh, shit. <laughs> you know, we would have just assumed that's normal, so. Yeah, that's just more mushrooms. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> you uh-huh. glow pink. Luckily for you, by the time uh, morning rolls around, I'm not pink. you will no longer be glowing pink. Just give yourself free fairy fire. This is normal. <laughs> yeah, Girl. on herself. Yeah. Does it glow this color as well? Oh. No. <laughs> 
Am I stuck either right over here? <laughs> All right, you guys. Uh, now you're going to try and do uh, With his help, uh, I was going to do the, the movable shoes to flight, okay. to, uh, flight for the next 24 hours. Do you have the goal to do it? Uh, well, he creates the material. Right. Yeah. Um, and then I was going to just make good berries with the rest. Okay. Uh, so for every we'll, cast? But yeah, first we'll do the immovable object twice. Mine's good. That's also a three and a one. Yeah. <laughs> That's hilarious. Well, it's the same thing. Natural twenty. All right, Ooh. roll a d one hundred. That's not necessarily good. Yeah. Thirty-one. Any time for the next hour that you use anything with a material component, you have to make an intelligence. Uh, check against your spell save DC. Okay, so that would be the next cast of a movable object, technically. Shit, yeah. So, so okay, yeah. Intelligent see if you save, do it. Intelligent save. You have another check. natural 20. Check, technically. Yeah, all right, believe now roll, it, another all right. natural 20. So now roll another natural 20 for your uh, second movable object. Okay, yeah, I'll roll another <laughs> natural 20. <laughs> 19. All right, wow. roll uh, 200. Crim Crimson dies on the ethical right now. <laughs> right now. The Crimson dies. 24. <laughs> your back on your shell gets really, really itchy. Oh, oh, the the brush. We need a brush. <laughs> yes. My time is gone. You don't My time is gone. If you don't scratch it. You must succeed a con saving throw <laughs> against your spell save DC. I think you still have emboldening bond. Uh, it will be. I mean, she could just grab a sword or something and just scratch it. That's <laughs> not a He'll scratch it. Like Do you use a brush? <laughs> I don't think he, he has a brush. one. brush! <laughs> I thought she got Okay, he's gonna, gonna, gonna go outside and grab a leaf from the palm tree and just. <laughs> A leaf, like a like a palm frond. Yeah, it's not scratchy enough, my guy. Oh, well, okay. Just rub her back against the tree yeah, like a bear. Yeah, yeah okay, yeah, yeah, that's what he would do. Yeah, like just a bear. Bear. Back. bear? All right. We all just okay. stare at you. All right. See, this is why you need to brush. Keep rolling, d twenty. Well, so now we're on to Goodberry, good yep. and uh, I don't know if that has a material component, so I think I might be good there. Can Will? Can Sugar Daddy Theo go to bed? <laughs> Yeah, I assumed I just took thank the... Thank you. Okay. I, just took, I assumed I just took the... <laughs> gold. Take your 50 gold so and go you. away. Um, well, is it a costly material component or just a material component in general? Material component. Oh, jeez. What if I use the focus <laughs> to replace the material it component? It says... If I use a material component? Yeah. If you use a material okay, component. Okay, I can just use the focus instead. So I'll, hey. ju I'll just roll for wild magic. Hang on. All right, for each cast of good berry. I have to figure out how many And then you guys will successfully complete a long rest okay. and reset everything. 10, 10, it's 38. <laughs> so that's 19 casts of good berry. You gotta use something really quick. Cast sending, talk to someone. We don't have sending. Um, we have scrying, but we don't have the things for it. 19 casts. I can't create it yet. Yep. Oh, no. Are you just talking to us more? Wanna just do a dice roller, Chief? It's 19. It'll just be faster. Do five at a time. Nothing on that. Wait, no. That's a two, so there's one. One. So on the first five, there's one. Eleven is the d20 roll. D100. Nineteen. Oh, that's not good. Nineteen. Nineteen. Uh, your skin grows hard for one minute. Okay. Like it could uh, oh. resist damage. Mm. Next one. I talked twice in a row. Uh, there was a there was a three. Okay, roll d twenty. Uh, twelve. Okay, roll d one hundred. Forty one. Oh no. One non magical item in your possession that weighs one pound or less vanishes and is forever gone. <laughs> 
Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> it is randomly chosen. One non magical, so I just go to my inventory, I guess. Go to your inventory, assign each one a number value, and roll. Non magical, one pound or less. Yep. How much is in your stuff? He's not going to have a sleeping bag anymore. You can't push in space. I mean, he's got a shell. Right? Most of his stuff true. is magical. Yeah, I was going to say, like. Would an arcane focus count as magical? Since it's used to make magic? I don't or think no? so. Okay. I don't think that technically it, it, it itself is magic. Am I counting money? Yes. Okay, so... I mean, the chances of getting a gold piece or a silver piece are really high. Holy crap. Yeah. Roll a d100. Okay, because... Okay, I'll... So... Roll a d100. If it's 30 or less, it's an item. If it's above 30... Okay. Start with that. It's uh, 36. There you go. So it's... Uh, roll a d6. Odds it's a gold, so, uh, evens it's a silver. Even. Let's go. There's one silver. The community bank loses once. I don't... Roken doesn't have any. I don't think we're going to financially recover from that. <laughs> <laughs> 210 silver to yeah. 209 <laughs> silver. Okay. So that was up to 10. Mm -hmm. We're good there. And then I only need to roll four this yep. time. Close, but we're good. Okay. All right. You go through, and you successfully complete a long rest. Yay. With flying shoes and 190 good berries. In the morning, I would like to try and get up early. Well, I mean, I sleep for four hours. Mm -hmm. And I would like to exit the island, <coughs> retreat for a minute or two. See if Taka's still out there, shall I? You can tell him that. I'm sorry. I yeah. yes, Talendrend is uh, chilling out there. You see a bunch of tents that were put up, uh, most likely by the wizards. Um, and just as the sun is kind of cresting over, um, kind of, I mean, you can see like the entire, just like, just on, it's kind of a flat horizon. And uh, he's just sitting there. The, the fire is still going just as strong as it was, and he just seems to be staring into the flames. You want to come? No. Okay. Hey. Um, I will approach. Okay. Does he, like, move or look at me or anything like that? Uh, no. He just kind of just keeps staring, staring into the flames. I think we need to talk about what we want to do before this morning starts. He's kind of sitting like this, staring into the flames. Must wait until Tarvek is back. Oh. The deal was struck with all three parties, meaning the Metallic Dragon Party, the Chromatic, and you guys. Seems and all of us must be present. This is, think of this as a legal proceeding. Where you are now deciding who you will go with. For me to speak with you beyond what I am doing now, or for you to explain anything to me, would be to give, for example, legal insight into the next proceeding, and it would give me an unfair advantage. It is likely that Dar that Tarvek will come back with some sort of incentive. I do not know what that incentive Jesus Christ. would be. After we made a decision. But, ignored. It is very possible that it will sway your decision. Oh. Until you get to see that, and you see what I have to offer. So you're saying you have an incentive as well? I'm not saying that. I'm not saying anything besides explaining the legal proceeding that you are about to take place in. We both report to a higher power that I think you understand. Can you tell me who the higher power is? Please. <laughs> oh. Use the magic words. Roll persuasion. 
He's also the worst yes. in my head, so. <laughs> With a 28. Casual. Okay. The one who Tarvek called my father. It's an oversimplification. But it is not an inaccurate one. Okay. And that is a god? Or a god like figure? He's gonna kind of like look up at this guy and go, I cannot speak of this anymore. Not before Tarvek gets here. Just to confirm something you did say though, you did say that Tarvek also adheres to a higher power that is that person. We all adhere to a higher power. Mm. This is like my. Sounds good to me. Okay. We'll when, when is she coming? won't be long now. Mm, okay. The sun is rising. It won't be for maybe an hour or more. All right. It will be soon. <coughs> Sounds good. We'll be in the hut. I guess we'll walk back and wait an hour. Mm-hmm. All right, what do you guys do? We'll let them know. <coughs> Just so you know. You guys set up an ambush. They're coming in an hour or two, so... Um, wait, do you, t- do, you, do you tell us that they have a new... In- they could have a new incentive? Mm. Okay. Well, do we want to consider this new incentive for... I think we have to play it out at this attack. point, but, like, we have to... I think it all ends in an attack anyway. If it will end in a fight regardless, the element of surprise <laughs> would be quite useful. I think the issue is if we do attack preemptively, that will just make... Dendron seems to be bound to some sort of code, so that would not be good in that aspect. They so you're saying to we have to play it out no matter what. Saying there's a chance he would not fight. If yes. Yeah. What we can do is we can send out one of us. I'll take the fall with the bond, and I can tell you guys in a secret location what is happening. Secret. I think in this case you're probably tell, the best. Does telepathic bond work across? I do not know. Did it tell you what to do? I have it right. <coughs> yeah, because the night of the mansion is an extra dimensional dwelling. Is it Rary's telepathic bond? Yeah. yeah. Uh, no. Okay. So we would have to be outside of the. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you'd have to be outside of the, um, oh. the island retreat. <laughs> <coughs> what was the terrain like? Uh, mostly pretty grassy. There's there's some like skits <coughs> of snow, but there's pretty. It's like kind of overcast outside. Uh, probably, so lots of clouds. Probably but difficult to hide. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we're not, not going to find a lot of like price. rough terrain. Yeah. If you were gonna hide, <coughs> you would probably have to do it, unless you could turn yourself like invisible or something. You would have to do it in. The island retreat. I think, at least to, to hide, like using terrain, if that makes sense. Yeah. The There's no terrain yeah. to hide behind unless you're like, oh, here, you see that hill? We're going to be like around the other side I of that hill that's ability. like way far away. I think invisibility is an option. It, yeah, it'd be the best the, option. Well, does anybody else have invisibility? Yeah. The spell. Okay. Okay. okay yeah. I do. Well, you have a free cast from <laughs> Shadow Touch, right? Correct. I also have the Yeah, but I can put on something else. Oh, that's true. Okay. That sounds like a really good plan. We can just <coughs> hide in plain sight. Unless they have true sight or something. <coughs> it's entirely possible. Can I make a check on what their senses are? <laughs> uh, it'd be a history check still. The same, yeah. Um, you know that they have, um, dark vision. Do I know if that's the top, or do, am I unsure? You know they have dark vision. Okay. 
That's the best we got, then. That's yeah, the best we got. Yeah, can fade that, but yeah. Alright. Well, if we want to turn... Certainly, I'm just talking mechanics. Uh, yours would turn four people invisible, right? Yep. Which we don't necessarily need because you have a free cast. Yeah. And you have limited spell slots compared to <laughs> at least, yeah. And I could turn um, her invisible and you could turn yourself well, invisible. Well, I think my thought is one of us casts it at fourth level and targets us three. And then he can cast it on himself. Oh, so she's going You're doing it too? as a bit... Do you oh, want me out there with you? with you? I don't know. I don't care. No. No, I don't. Yeah, yeah, I actually <laughs> didn't want to go. Alright, so I'll, I'll, I'll cast it fourth. Well, the, the issue is if battle does break out and you're the first one to get hit, and you're concentrating on three, all three of our instabilities. <laughs> so should I do it? Well, I also have to make a roll to do it. But well, everyone has to make a wild magic roll. Well, no, but I have to. I don't. It's. I would be casting it from the ring, so I'd have to roll to just cast it at all. I mean, the chances are very high for success. But maybe you should. do it. Maybe I should do it. I might take a big bite to the face. <laughs> okay. Think about it. Well, actually, since I would be casting it at fourth level. Actually, well, you. How many? You have plenty of uses of emboldening bond, right? Yeah, that was my plan too. Okay. <laughs> well, would you be okay with using one now to get the invisibility off? Well, I was gonna do it. In the last ten minutes, right? Yeah, no, an invisibility. Last ten minutes. Mm -hmm. No, invis invisibility lasts an hour. No, we bully bond. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Only ten minutes. So I guess we'll wait till Tundra said within the hour, so I guess we. I like, was just gonna wait minutes. until they, like. Showed up. I assume they don't just, like, blip out of <coughs> the sky. Exactly. Like, they don't just there. Like, they, you can see them coming, right? Well, but you, you can still use an old bond while we're invisible. Right. It's pretty it's, it's not cover. It's, it's not casting so a spell in the attack. Above the clouds? You wouldn't see them like that. Um... You would have to make a pretty decent perception check to be able to see them from far away if they're flying above the clouds. If they're flying below the clouds, it would be a pretty easy perception check. Okay, so I guess we'll wait until... Yeah. But, since I don't have any other information besides that, I'll just... Given, and within the hour, being told the information, within the hour I'll cast... Or not cast, I'll use yeah. one use of Emboldening Bond well, so about, on the hour. we think they're about 30 minutes out, right? Because then that'll give you time to at least talk a little bit. So sure. we'll have 30 minutes left of the invisibility. Cool, all right. That sounds like Does that work? Okay. Mm. Also precast, virtually cast um, telepathic bond. Just that, so I can at that time. Yeah. It takes ten minutes, so. Alright. I will attempt casting invisibility at fourth level. Oh, we're fine. <laughs> that's like a thirty Easy. that's like a thirty something. Cool. And I needed an eighteen. <laughs> okay. <laughs> uh, so us three are invisible and I'm concentrating on it. Um <clears throat> Spend that, and then I'll roll for wild magic. Another 19. Okay. Uh, and then you can just cast it on yourself mm -hmm. and roll wild magic. Right. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and you just sit back. There's no add added to this. I'll leave the well. Yeah, I'll leave the portal open to the. I'll you make it invisible, but I'll leave it open. Right? Huh? There's nothing added to the no, magic it's just straight. It's just no, straight. It's just straight. Eight. 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 You're good. All right. <clears throat> so I guess you guys eight. cast invisibility. You guys uh, prep. Um, you notice Telendrin. So it's kind of hilly. You know, there's it's pretty overcast. You know, you can still see, but there's definitely a lot of cloud cover. And you can so you kind of see Telendrin. He since you've seen him, he has kind of changed clothes. He's now wearing a very ornate, it almost seems like gold leaf robe. Like there's actual like metal gold on it. Very ornate. Um, his beard is, is like well trimmed. Um, and he, and you see him standing there. And as you approach, he looks at you and then uh, with a kind of a sonic boom, he rockets into his dragon form 
and despite the limited sunlight cast shade on you, you know, I mean, just blots out one half of the sky. A few moments later, uh, are you guys looking for the blue dragon? Yeah, uh, I, I mean, I'll keep. Like, were you guys like, I, like actively making perception checks for it? I'll keep an eye out, but I did want to clarify checks. where I am exactly. <laughs> I'll be looking at I think positioning is important. How about this? I will pull up the battle map. That works. Not saying it's going to happen, but just so that we know. You guys figure out where you are. You three are about 60 feet away. You're directly above, but invisible. All of you are invisible except for you. So, uh, you guys wait a few minutes, you know, half an hour, whatever. And suddenly the wind kicks up around you and you see like blades of, of grass just getting flattened down all over the place and then descending through the clouds you see two blue dragons and two smaller ones with them and they descend on the other side of now I'll, I'll adjust the sizes here in a second I have to do the sizes kind of separately. For the kids. I knew they were going to bring the kids. <laughs> oh my god. Orphan them in front of the kids. We kill the kids too. You no. I was going to say, you can just do all of them. Yeah. No. I run my own kids. Sir. Pull out the people. <laughs> Set them next to me. Come on your shoulder. <laughs> around the kids, if that makes sense. Mm -hmm. You see that? Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> and they are all four just gonna... <sighs> and... Uh, so, Telendrind, in full draconic form, is gonna kind of, is gonna speak, and again, you hear it, it's like rumbling uh, behind his voice. State... Your terms, Tarbeck. And she's gonna say, after much deliberation, our offer is thus. The party will loan us the Sword of Anti-Magic so that we may study its effects in order to replicate them. They will then give us the Book of Uminorin, so that we may study runic magic in its entirety. They will also become bonded to us. In draconic bond. In return, we will find them the other six artifacts created upon creation of this world. We will also bestow upon them any knowledge of runic magic that we find. any items from our hoard <coughs> may be added at their request. However, this will be upon review. Thus are our terms, Telendrind. And Telendrind is going to then say, my terms are as follows. The party will give me the Book of Uminorin so that I may study it to destroy the remnants of Uminorin forever. In return, 
return, they will not become my minions. We will not be bonded. Their choices will remain their own in their entirety. They will help to secure a new age for their world and for all worlds. Any rewards that they should find along the way will be theirs and theirs alone. And any choices that they make will be theirs and theirs alone. <coughs> Thus are my terms, Tarbeck. Representative, I know not where the rest of you are. They're still sleeping. They, they need to be awake. You sure you want to say that? I'll let you re re renege that so that we can... Uh, It's your call. Just a little telepathic bond. They're not sleeping. They're far. But I can tell them what's happening. As long as they are aware of the proceedings, it is acceptable. But it is now up to you to decide. We have stated our terms. You must now accept one. Humbly request uh, one second. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe twelve. Tar Tarak is going to say, "You've had all night to decide. Yeah, what did you spend the night the doing?" Turn, the terms just changed. Well, the terms I mean, changed. I was dude. sleeping, and mm. you didn't present your options beforehand. Telendrind, what is your opinion on this? You will say, "Let them decide. They may have a few minutes to deliberate, but." In my head. Well, if I'm, I'm not someone's minion. If I'm honest, neither one of these sounds that great now. No. But I know, we're kind of getting fucked over in all ways here. Like. Do we have to choose one of theirs? Well, yeah. Well, no. if we choose neither, it's likely certain death. You know, you're right. I don't know. Telendrin's deal doesn't seem as great as, as the blue it did dragon. previously. Yeah, I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> yeah, but the artifacts created at the world's creation could be useless. They could be insane, but they could be useless. I doubt they're useless. And and I don't know if this if this this would be other six. I think you guys should um, think about what best represents your goals in life, and we need to go from there. <laughs> <laughs> I think we killed Caitlyn. <laughs> <laughs> uh, That's why I can't do jury duty. So tell me, and I will speak the words. Well, if we don't like both of them, we just plan to double cross one in the future. Either way, we're double crossing them. I say we take the more difficult fight now with help. I literally don't know what the more difficult fight is, <laughs> unless it's behind us. <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> is it the one behind me or the one in front of me? It might be the one in front of us. I can't tell. I, 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 can, I don't think the blue dragon is still hard to fight, but I don't know. This is such a hard choice. Oh my gosh. <laughs> my choice has been made. Is your choice still the same? Yeah. Not someone's minion. Fuck that. Yeah, I'm, I'm not much of a fan of that either. Fuck, I'm going with the blue dragons. Oh, I want to die. I literally want to die. Alright, we got it. Yeah. It's currently 2 to 1. Alright, don't, don't ask Don't ask Root and Arm again because I they have, are both split. I have not <laughs> voted yet if you're considering my vote for. Okay. Uh, I was voting uh, it for yeah. Telendrin. Yeah. I, I, I apologize. Prim's voting for the blue dragons. Uh, Prim is voting for the blue Yeah. Leslin's probably gonna side with the blue dragon. Oh, oh my god! god. I, no, I, <laughs> I just the terms of the contract with the blue dragon. It's just there are two. So, I mean, this is kind of funny with the things going on in real life right now. But I'm not a fan of the fact that there's a couple things in the contract that they can <laughs> decide <laughs> to change. I don't know, yeah. man. <laughs> An open minion license. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. One point two. Well, uh, oh, there's a one point two. 
There's nothing telling you can decide on the fly. Uh, okay. There are plenty of things they can decide on the fly. Yeah, I, I locked do, in, it's fine. You can also know? decide to kill us too, to be They right. could. Yes. Because we have no bomb. Do we know if there's any way to, you know, rid ourselves of a dragon? Or I should bomb? ask fucking Taka. Do you want to ask what the details of a draconic bond are? Yes, please. <gasps> sure. I'll ask him. <laughs> Tell him during the lancer. We will be linked. Or I should say, you would be linked. Telepathically. Oh, fuck. Your thoughts will remain your own, but there will be as if there is a door. And you may open that door at any time. Both doors must be open to allow communication. You may speak to them, they may speak to you. They cannot read your thoughts unless you speak to them by opening that door. <coughs> the bond will give you power. It will also restrict you. You will not be able to harm those you are in draconic bond with. That goes right there. both ways. Well, goes both ways. Tell the so we didn't have to bother them. It goes both ways. You two choose. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think that makes the decision right there. If we don't completely agree with either one, then I think Teledrin is the obvious choice here. Yeah. They obviously um, can't kill us. Since either. you guys are wondering, and oh, since, yeah. and I think that Teledrin could probably pick up on it, to end a draconic bond requires <coughs> a severing ritual. It is possible. It is not easy, nor is it painless. But it is possible. Can you ask if both parties have to agree to it? Do both parties have to agree? Everyone must agree uh, for this type of bond. This bond. If he wanted you to be, if she wanted you to be her slave, right, that is a very different bond. I, that is a thrall bond. I do not think this bond is something we can accept personally. Well, it's up to you. What the fuck? Sorry. So, just to be clear, you mm -hmm. can communicate with each other, you receive power, you can't hurt each other. Yeah. So there's no mind reading beyond what you say. I'm just sure. wanting to just mm -hmm. yeah. make make sure you guys understand the implications. To be fair, Telegen could just kill us the second he doesn't need us to. Yeah, but well, we were planning on doing by, that to him. I by the time he wishes to do that? that, we may be able to... Yes. Effectively, it's like a, it's like the telepathic bond that you guys have. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Where like you're not exactly reading each other's all Just of your thoughts, but you can communicate with each other. Similar deal. Does it work cross plane? That's a very interesting concept. Probably not. Okay. I have to think about it. It wouldn't really make sense because then you communicate with people on other planets that they've been to. I don't know how many other planets I've been to. I'll have to think on the yeah, I'll have to think on the draconic part of that sure. and how they fit into the <laughs> cosmology of everything. I'm leaning towards it would. Because mm. it's just a back door. But until it comes up, I'm not gonna give you a specific answer. Okay. Mm -hmm. The goals we like I said, with the goals we discussed, I don't think this bond makes oh, them possible. Hang on then. Those are my goals. Okay. Well not, not your goals. You have your own eyes. My goals do not completely align with either of these groups either, so... Choose whatever fulfills your goals the most. I don't think this bond is doable. Would the bond directly impact your goal? Likely, yes. Okay, fair enough. Alright. Tiebreaker, let's I go think you're the actual tiebreaker. Your goals, yeah. your goals do matter. We have 2 4 two against. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, what would we want to do? WWE. WWE. Wait, are you guys actually want to have love? That's crazy. That's what their characters want. Yeah, no, it's, it's fine. It's not the bond. It's not the bond. It's the magic. It's the magic. I just like that we made a flow oh, on the screen. Again, we don't have to make the decision. <laughs> yeah, I know. Like, uh, we don't have to make the decision <laughs> on magic right now. <laughs> <laughs> well, I agree, 
here, I think that decision can, can be made it. later, um, regardless no. of who, Actually, who decides. The decision on magic could be made for us if we can't harm these four blue dragons. Uh-huh. But we're not forced to do their bidding. They. But we can't stop them from if we end but up. They can't in. stop us either. It goes both ways. Currently, I think they are more powerful than us. Yeah. They can't harm you. Mm-hmm. I've almost changed my mind, but I want to see what your opinion is. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> We'd be the worst jury in the world. <laughs> jury deliberations take hours. Oh, I know they do. Hours. I know. <laughs> Trust me, I know, but like... WWRD. Put that on a bumper sticker mm-hmm. or something, a t shirt. Uh, <laughs> oh, <gosh. laughs> it's not a bad bump. <laughs> I have to stick with what I want and what falls in line with my ideals, and that is stick with Telendrin. Okay, then we stick with Telendrin. <laughs> Now I'm gonna just see if I need to reconsider. Oh <laughs> my Dude. love you. No. God. Uh, Are you serious? Are you actually serious? Yeah. Alright. I would that bomb. What would that bomb do to hell can, can I ask the dragon? Um, Which one? Tarvik. Mm-hmm. Do you have any known affiliations with Kaladin? A human. Who? Kaladin a human. No. Okay. Insight. Check. <laughs> yeah, I mean, yes. I'll, I'll do that insight check for you. Yeah, it's like I do anything for me. All right. Two. <laughs> <laughs> so honest. She'll say something to the effect of, I care not for your petty moral squabbles. I, yeah. I would probably be inclined to believe that. I'll ask Telendrin. Would you have a problem with me killing T- Kaladin? Contract. It would not be up to him. He can still make his own choices. He can make his own choices, yeah. <coughs> so he has his own opinions. Galadin did what needed to be done in the moment when Uminorin was about to be revived. I have not seen him since. I have no attachment to him. As long as you can do what needs to be done in this moment, then I feel the same about you. No, sorry, ladies. Well, fine. <laughs> it's literally fine. I just didn't want to be the one to make this. Oh <laughs> <my God>. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Like I genuinely, Leslin would. Go yeah. on the blue dragon it side. It it's it's you just, you know. Like, this is a democracy, man. This is what it is. Just above table, if you disagree with whatever decision that we come up with, let's talk it about it. But, you know, besides that, if you guys are good with the democracy, yeah, we'll go with whatever the majority dude. says. I'm going to say that it's whatever. We'll deal with it. Yeah, yeah, above table, I don't want this to be a big issue. No, it's fine. On the table, I think this is great. Yeah. <laughs> As characters, we're struggling. Above, but above table, I think I would say that if we went with the blue dragons, Rogan wouldn't accept the bond. Yeah, that'd be, yeah. So yeah. It, this is fine. <laughs> um, Tarbeck, I have to humbly decline. So, uh, Telendrin will say, 
you accept my offer? Yes. These words are accepted, Tarbeck. And Talonrin's going to kind of turn to Tarbeck. So you're going to say, I see. Then that is it. Watch the skies. And then they yeah. four will fly away. That sounds like a fucking threat. And with a huge flap of wings, everyone make a strength saving throw. I need to make it when my feet can hold that, 20 that, pounds that was, or whatever. That yeah, do your knees break? <laughs> well, <laughs> I mean, I guess I can still fall over, but I, well, I don't think I would hit the ground. You said strength? Mm-hmm. Saving? Mm-hmm. Uh, five. We all, we all have a straight roll. Seventeen. Two. <laughs> <laughs> well, you guys, so you guys have D fours. All of you fail. You guys have D fours, <laughs> but I would love to see a D four. I'd love to see a D four. I have a nineteen. Yeah. Now upside down. You have a nineteen. Yeah. In the air. <laughs> That's what I mean. Yeah. <laughs> like, yeah, you don't fall prone, yeah. but you're like prone in the yeah. air. <laughs> all right, you all fall prone, and Talendrin will will turn to you, Theo, and say. I believe you have done the right thing in this moment. We're gonna end it there. Yeah. <laughs> so, with that, <laughs> uh, you know, uh, catch us at the next episode. Leave a like, comment. Don't forget to like comment and what you think they should have done. You know <laughs> yeah. what? This is a, you know what? I want to see. I want to see. What do you think they should have done? And uh, we'll see you on the next video. I think it's going to be a, no, not a drawn up, probably uh, yeah, it is. Uh, another deep, right? Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Or a, yeah, another we'll deep. We'll catch you on the other side, my friend. Yeah. Bye. Awesome.